Yes, my viewers and subscribers, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back for the late night edition of Jamaica's hottest program, Jamaica at Topic, where we bring you the hottest and latest news happening in and around Jamaica. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Please hit the like button. Students, oh, you like my screensaver beside Ad Topic? Oh, you like the screensaver be at, beside Ad Topic? Lord Jesus, my viewers and subscribers in this class, in tonight's episode, we have a lot to talk about. Because me hear one labor right man, one labor right man come out and talk say Mark Gold in a walk round a bullet woman. You hear all them wicked? One labor right man a come round and talk and say, oh, Mark Gold in a walk round a bullet woman. A mouthpiece fix him. Yes, mouthpiece defend Mark. Mode fix, mode peace fix the labor right man. Most peace fix the whole of them. My brother and subscribe class, class is going to be bang around. I want to ask you, should police wear body cameras mandatory? Should police wear body cameras mandatory? The next question I want to talk to you about is, what has the health minister done to address the concerns in the health sector that the U.S. Department said why they put on the travel tree advisory. We want to talk about the PNP history. My viewers and subscribers, welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Me want to hit the like button and tell me what to think about my screensaver up on the screen. Oh, you like my screensaver? Hit the like button and welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic. I'm going to play the music quick and fast and get directly into the class. Students, if the audio is okay... Upon the song, tell me, say, yes, the audio is okay. If the audio is good, say, audio is good. Welcome to the class. Blessings to you. A judgment in here tonight, you know. Oh. Come on, somebody big up Jesus. Send to this big up Jesus. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. I am giving you a one Yeah, yeah. How do you taste the You need to put up your hand and become Jesus. I am giving you a whole Holy Ghost, I love you. Jesus Christ is in the head. You love him to not give him praise. The mighty man of God. Somebody put up your hand big up Jesus. I was so much people come from. Come on, students. I was so much students come from. Come on, students. Hit the like button now. Walk coming at the class. Hit the like button now. Walk coming at the class. Welcome to the class. Hit the like button, students. Greetings to everybody. Come, 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 come. Are you so nice? You're so nice. Murder. Somebody give him praise. I am giving you a Students, you better warn the man on the screen, you know. You see the man will look like jackass, where him and the jackass teeth look alike. You see where the man, my brother subscribe, you know, see the prime minister want real jackass, I want crosses. Which point of the world you ever see a prime minister make up them face there and, and, and give people? Tell me, my brothers and subscribers, which point of the world you ever see your prime minister make up them the kind of face and give people in a budget presentation? Unless you see Devon and I want witch, I want wizard. Unless you say I want evil walker. Warn him for me, warn him, warn him. Oh, I am keeping you. Hallelujah, receive 
If you live up a Beverly Hills in our 19 bedroom. If you have Wally Pamoni and Integrity Commission can certify it. Mr. Bramwell, Mr. Bramwell, why you make up your face like the donkey, Mr. Bramwell? Devon Bramwell, Devon Snoop Bramwell, why you make up your face like the donkey? My brother subscribers, which part of the world on the prime minister where on the elect, on the prime minister who is supposed to be a role model? Which role model you see a BF so? Which role model has skin up them teeth like Danky when Danky wa 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 wine? Una sister when the Prime Minister want comedy, why would you send him go over Hollywood? Lord Jesus, Devon Bramwell. Students on the type bitter water. Bitter water comes, students. On the type bitter water. Bitter water comes, a bitter water upon the screen. The bitter water, students on the type bitter water. <laughs> students, if you think say Devon and Shevan are bitter water, type bitter water in the comments. Bitter water. When Kukudu sing bitter water, me go start the class. When him sing bitter water, me go start the class. Oh, 
Now be a work on bitter water. Yes, students, on the type bitter water. Bitter water. Yes, your face look like the ass mouth. Bitter water. See, so they can take a little sip there. They can take a little sip for a start talk. Mm -mm. Oh, for the Lord is good. Huh? Let them out the register, student. Let them out the register. Now, the good night to you, calligraphy. Big up yourself, Florence Brown. Big up Carla Ebanks. Big up Simone Beckford. Florence Brown. Plumber Tyndale. Dion. Jennifer Davis. CD Dunn. Big up Isila. Isila, welcome to the class. A long time in the scene. No, big up yourself, man. Isila. Larry Beckford, good night to you. Paulette Ponanti, good night. Andre Crawford. Michelle Lindsay. Carla Ebanks. Carlington Lewis. Jamaica White. Patricia Williams. Matthew Lewis. Evelyn Meekle. Andrea Hunt. Yes, Beverly Alexander, Althea Johnson, Alicia, big up yourself. Noel Ball, long time in a see you in mass. I big up yourself, I welcome to class. Noel, uh, Nicola Green, big up yourself. Angela said, I'm back at topic. Blessings to all. Raymond said, love it. Big up yourself. Marine Slu, Claudia, Carleen, Iceland, Fairweather. Iceland, I wish for you did there. Maisie Miller, big up yourself. Big up Carla Banks and Nav Daniels, Lady J. Big up yourself. Big up Yvonne Riley, Georgia Thompson. Yes, big up Novelette Williams, Wayne uh, uh, Graham. Big up Patrick Evans, the health minister wasted so much and nobody reigned him in the demolition, man. He's such a hypocrite. A big hypocrite all of them, but I'm going to make you hear what I'm saying tonight. And me wanting to tell me that answer is sufficient. Say the done blessings to you, Barrington Clark. Blessings to you, Althea Johnson. Big up yourself, Erica Ennis, Maxine Wilson. Maxine, how you doing, man? Big up yourself, sister Maxine Wilson. Blessings to you, man. Big up yourself, Maxine. Patrick Evans, K, Ann Bennett, Viv Chin, yes, in a circle, Myrtle Thompson, Sean Powell, Judith Love Parks, a long time in a see you. love Judith Love Parks, a teacher, good night, you have me cracking up me, and I have your crack up a Devon Teat, and the donkey teeth have your crack up sister, Lady J Love, say big up that person, <laughs> the person that made the meme is wicked. Nicola, big up yourself, Sean Powell, Egla Fletcher, big up yourself, special, Big up Christine Phillips, Dor, Janet Jones, Andrea Burke, good night to you, God is good. Big up Shane Thorpe, Eunice, uh, Eunice Smart, good night to you. Big up who else now? Natalie Foreman, Lord, the name them run off of the comments. Big up Hope Anderson, Shalene, Parchment, Christine Phillips, Sister Inez, present, present, present. Big up Inez, August Girl, welcome to the class. Francine Beckford. Dian Johnson, Calligraphy, Marty Pitt, big up yourself. For the first time I see in a class, Marty Pitt, big up yourself. Joyce Adams, Tashana Cohen, Bikana Hemmings, Dian Henry Shorty, Maxine Smith, Alison Gordon, Anthony McCalla, Star Boy, Candy Kane, Paul Griffith, Sylvia Douglas, Sib Sib, Herleen Edwards, Megan Kerry, Angela Green, Kian Givens, Paul Griffiths, Kenneth Weil, Janet Monday, big up God is good, Diane Robinson, Paul Griffiths, Big up M, Lana Brooks, Yvonne Skyers, blessings to you, Georgette Brown. Blessings to all of the students in another class. Big up on yourself and welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic, all right? Big up Carl Stewart, Herbert Tuzal, in Wama Herbert. Yes, big up Yard Vibes, Laris, big up yourself, Laris, Bitter Water, yes, your sister. Carl Hills, big up. Alison Gordon, big up. Big up Veral Gooden, Paulette, blessings to you. Big up to everybody, LTE to Carol, Kimon Grant, big up yourself. Victor Williams, Vernon Mitchell, that's where I end it. My brothers and subscribers, which is bro, big up yourself. My brothers and subscribers, I want to see some, I saw something and it is something that has been circling in the ear for the longest while my viewers and subscribers. I want to talk to you tonight, you know. I want to talk to you before I ball out murder and before I go out with pure excitement because I tell the police commissioner, Dr. Kevin Blake, you know, my viewers and subscribers, if you're over here, you know, who remember when me did that tell Kevin Blake the things that we need to come out, come tell Jamaica people, say? Me tell Kevin Blake, say, him need to tell the police them that they need to start dealing with the Jamaican people and with decency and dignity so the people them can trust the police and tell them information. And me tell Kevin Blake, say, for make sure, say, the police them start where body cam. My brothers and subscribers, you know, know say, one killing go on. Listen to me, me, I go tell you the mix up, you know. One killing go on. A police kill the man. 
and the people them have one video camera catch up on the side of them house and the video camera catch when the police them four police or three police stand up on the man and them tell the man say go down pan him knee and when the man go down pan him knee little bit after that the man dead them shoot the man and kill the man and then I go come say so shoot out and the video camera will catch up to the side somebody type video camera and the video camera where the neighbor have catch up at the side of them or sketch the police and it use as evidence against them students if you want to see it say show me if you want to see it show me me can't show you the part where the shooting are going but me can't show you where the police are telling man for go down pan him knee if you want to see type in the comments and say show me teacher if you want to see type in the comments and say show me teacher and, it, and, and that brings me to the question I want to ask you, my viewers and subscribers. Should police body cameras be mandatory? Should every single police in Jamaica have body camera, a wear body camera? That are the first question I'm going to ask you know, my students over here in Jamaica, a topic. And I'm going to make sure I put it up. I'm going to make sure I put it up, my viewers and subscribers, on the poll. Let me put it up on the Try right, Free Tax all. USA this year to get the same tax refund without paying extra. We all know that big... Well, and the students, you know, bear with me there. May I type in the poll? I want to ask you the question in the poll. Should police body cameras be mandatory? And for all those who don't know, the word mandatory means it must happen. You have to wear it. So I'm asking you the question, my viewers and subscribers, should police body cameras be mandatory? And I in Jamaica, we are talking, not talking about the US nor Canada. You type yes or no. Here is the poll, my viewers and subscribers. I wanted to type in the comments. I wanted to type in the comments, my viewers and subscribers. And I wanted to, to, to click up the poll. Should police body cameras be mandatory in Jamaica? Yes or no? My viewers and subscribers, I wanted to hit the like button for me because I'm showing the excitement on the screen. Me go show the, the excitement. Me go show the excitement. I wanna go see how police tell the man. Tell the man. My viewers and subscribers, you know, I'm sure that you've heard it several times. I've often heard it several times and seen it on the radio. Where uh, there's a shooting incident where it turns out that the police happen to, to take somebody's life. The police give one narrative and the citizen gives a total different narrative. So who do you believe? And we've heard it times and times and times and times again where people have died under questionable circumstances by the hand of the police. And you mean to tell me that the police were gifted and never them take up their money and buy the cameras, you know, my viewers and subscribers. I get them get the camera, you know. If Manala, I must say the United States give them the camera, you know. If any of my students them know only can type in, they say, yes, it's the US, that, uh, it's, it's the United States. The Jamaican police got body cameras to wear and they don't turn it on. Them don't turn it on. Them don't turn it on, my viewers and subscribers. And the woman pick the dead and the people them pick the dead. And them are going to come tell the people them, say, a controversial shooting when the camera pick up the police, my viewers and subscribers. The camera pick up the police, you know, my viewers and subscribers. It's not like the camera not pick him up. The camera pick up the police and I put the man on the ground. I'm going to make no ear. Students, you know, hit the like button for me now. Hit the like button for teacher, you know. Hit the like button, students, because you don't need to hear this a drama. Hit the like button, students. Let me, see, make, let me make sure I want to hit the like button first before. Well, on there. Let me make sure I want to hit the like button first. Students, come on. Bring the likes to 200 and 250 for me now. Bring the likes to 200 and 250, students. Come on. I wanted to bring it. Come on. Participate in the class, students. Participate in the class, students. And I wanted to also participate in the poll. Should police body cameras be mandatory? Yes or no? Mr. Police Commissioner, I hope you're listening to this. I hope you're your people I'm listening to it because the other day when I put up the picture here, say I was watching and your people I was watching. So I wanted to look at this, Mr. Police Commissioner. I wanted to type my viewers and subscribers. I mean, I want to tell me so you make no mistake and type no. Because enough time, Mr. Uno, in the comments, I tell me, say, teacher, I make mistake, I click no. When I should I click yes? The question is, should police body cameras be mandatory? Yes or no? Yes, students, on the work the like button, man. Work the like button. It don't take nothing at all for hit the like button. Let me get back directly to into the videos now. And I wanted to look. You know, look and see say the man, they are grown. Look and see say grown. The police put the boy on the ground and then them take the boy three pints. Grown the man, they pan. Somebody type grown. G-R-U-N-G. Grown. 
It's not the ground, you know. Somebody type ground for me. G-R-U-N-G. And the ground, the man there. And the police then put the man on the ground. And on the one, when I go sister the camera to the side of the house, catch up. My friends and subscribers, I'm going to play the video right away. Get ready to be amazed. Look at this video. FJ has renewed its call for the mandatory use of body-worn cameras by members of a Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF. A recent police killing in St. Catherine has the victim's family demanding answers and JFJ noting that the absence of body-worn cameras is fueling the distrust of the police. The renewed call follows the killing of 27-year-old Romario Sterling in Bogwalk. Oh, no, look at the students. Look, look at the camera where the people them have up on the side of them house. Me are telling us at the camera where the people them have catch up on the side of the house catch the incident. The camera catch the incident. Students, I want to know what happened here. Students, well, are the man. Uno, uno go stand up in front of the TV. All of the students, them, we are watch at them yard. Get up out of your bed and go stand up in front of the TV. And to all of the students, them, we are watch on the phone. Force up your phone in your eye. To all of my students, them, if you have one magnifying glass in your house, go for your magnifying glass. Let me give you one minute. Go for your magnifying glass and zoom up everything because we are going to be the, the, the quota public opinion tonight. Let me, on the students, on the like, you know, bring the likes to 500,000 for me. Bring the likes to 500 million zil and make everybody in Jamaica. Send this to the people in the US. Everybody in the diaspora who are watching this, send this to your friend and your family and show them how the police in Jamaica got to work and tell life and the people them. In a foreign, you can't have body camera for sure evidence. In a poly, in a Jamaica, you have no evidence. My viewers and subscribers are going to hit the like button. Look and see the people them side camera catch them with them wicked self. Look how them are going to murder the man. Look. Catherine, in an alleged confrontation with the police. Well, on the students, I want to look, you know, the man, well, on the students, I have to play it back, you know, I'm sorry for the, sorry for the students. But look, you see the man, you have a police who stand up beside the banana leaf. Students, come on, we're going to work together. Let us work together, students. Let us work together. You see the banana leaf, student? If you see the banana leaf type, yes. The banana leaf is the green thing up in the ear. Everybody must know banana leaf. If you want to type banana leaf, let me know so you understand me. Come on, students, type banana leaf. Yes, so the police murder the man. Murder the man. Somebody type murder. Students, come on, type quick in the comments. Type banana leaf and type murder. Type banana leaf and type murder. The man who the police kill him in the white shirt. You can't see say the police will lamp on one pole. You can't see say the police will lamp on one pole, my viewers and subscribers, under the banana leaf. And if, you, and if you use your magnifying glass and zoom it up, Kezia Couture and Sheldon Brown and Jice Adams and Christine Phillips and Ryan Gentles and Matthew and Herbert and Lana and Colleen and Beauty Chess and everybody and everybody. Yes, in a circle, banana leaf. Yes, Charmian, banana leaf and murder. Yes, Evelyn, banana leaf, banana leaf. Look upon the banana leaf. Below the banana leaf. You see somebody in a blue or somebody in a white shirt or something in a white. And the man that in the white, them killing up. And the man that into the white, the police, them killing up. My viewers are subscribers. You go see when them tell the man for go down pan him ground. Me want to make sure I get your attention so you can see which part of the video for focus pan. Focus pan the banana leaf. The policeman into the police uniform. And him stretch a wall and power one piece of bamboo wood pole. Pan the zinc fence. Above. The banana leaf. I just see one man stand up in front of him in a the white shirt. That is the man the police them kill in a cold blood. All right, everybody see the banana leaf. Now watch what go on at the banana leaf, student. Look what go on at the banana leaf. Wanna look? Hogwarts St. Saint Catherine in an alleged confrontation with the police. Relatives of Mr. Sterling are disputing the police's report on the incident. They have released a video purportedly from a surveillance camera at his home showing what oh, appears look, to be students, a man look. identified as Mr. Sterling with his hands on his head being instructed to kneel before... You see my call him friend? You see my call him friend? They are the other police. What? They're up to something, you know? Anytime you see police are twist and turn, so I kill them one, kill people, a vampire, blood them want. Blood them want. They have no reason to kill people and them come out and kill them is worse than the criminals them. Them is worse than the criminals them. 
And when them come, them students more want to eat the light bun. The normal students, 265 people alone can't eat the light bun. This a class are too big for eat the light button. Jamaica, only eat the light button. When you eat the light button, YouTube show the video to wallop of people whenever they look for the video. Make Canada see this. Make England see this. Make Switzerland and France and Sweden and the US see how police kill a man innocent. I could have your picnic and your brother, your cousin. Students in the work, the light button. I mean, now I got the class in the work, the light button. Come on, students, you know, work up a light button like on the mad. Work a light button and share it, make somebody see the wickedness. So, when I go see all the police want to kill a man, look how the police are going to kill a man. I could have your picnic and your cousin and your neighbor, your niece and yourself and your son. Work the like button, students, you know, work the like button and share it. If you want somebody to see this video, work the like button and hit the thumbs up. Oh, uh, hit the thumbs up, students. Hit the thumbs up on the word, the thumbs up on the ball up, murder. Everybody type murder in the comments. Everybody type murder in the comments, see me there. Wickedness. Everybody type murder in the comments. Me go show no all them kill the innocent man. The man not have no gun. When you see the man and they run him neck. The man and students when you zoom up the video, you know. The man have him and them round him neck, you know. You know when you have your hand round your neck. Look at you see. You see the white shirt of the man, elbow you yeah, see, you know. And the man elbow you see pint out, you know. Them tell the man for put him hand around him neck, you know. And the man have him hand around him neck, you know. You mean if you tell me say the police them murder the man? The police them murder the man, my girls. No, now for work the light button students, man. I could down the pit in this. I work the light button, man. Look at students. Look how them kill the man now. Look here. Where a single explosion is heard. JFJ. Is you see what them say? Go down by your knee. I go them and tell the man for go down by him knee, you know. A good man tell the man to go down on him knee for go kill the man in his in a, in a yard. You know, look there. Look as if the man tell the man for go down on him. Lord Jesus, students are afraid, afraid, afraid. Look there. A good man tell the man to go down on him knee. What do you tell the man for go down on him knee for look here? As it is deeply concerned by the discrepancies in the account of a police versus that of a family. You see them carry the boy around the corner. Carry them carry go around the boy, go around the corner, go shoot the boy. Care them care the boy go around the corner go shoot the boy and them dirty drunk here for go at 80. Them dirty drunk here for go at 80. Them dirty old Jezebel here for go at 80. No question ask make, make sweet and sour. Make the done over 80 them sweet and sour. No for sweet and sour them. Them dirty drunk here them set a dirty murder here them for go over 80 make sweet and sour the done from 80 no for sweet and sour them and, and stew them like stewing in. Them dirty police here. Yeah. Them dirty police and my viewers and subscribers, let me play back one more time. When you type murder in my comment, if you type murder before, type murder again. Type murder like you're mad, like you're mad. Just type murder. Devon and them people them watch the program. Because some things when I talk the next day, I hear them around with that everybody around it. So the whole of them watch the program, but them silent. And them are the people them when not hit the like button. Them come over here for fast. So type murder in the comments like you're mad, make them say. Type murder like your life depend on it. Ball out murder in the comments. And when I open the phone line, if Tony can call and ball out murder, I would have loved it for the ball out murder and death them. Death them and ball out murder. Me go play it back. Let me show you how the Jamaican police them murder the woman, people, Pitney and the people and Pitney. Them tell the man to put them hand back on him head. Look how them, look how them operate criminal. Look how them operate like criminal. Look, a blood them want, you know. Blood them more when you see them twist and turn in your yard. So, like the dopey, I said, no, take this up, blood, take this up. Look. Have released a video purportedly from a surveillance camera at his home showing what appears to be a man identified as Mr. Sterling with his hands on his head being instructed to kneel before a single explosion is heard. JFJ says it is deeply concerned by the discrepancies in the account of a police versus that of a family, particularly regarding the timing and circumstances leading to Mr. I got my first six figures. Well, I'm a viewers and subscribers. This I got to a spring break. Well, on the aim about spring break, one commercial break. You know, well, on. Yes. Watch Executive them. Director of Wickedness the them. Wickedness them. Kill people. Pick me all the while. And on the body camera, on the not turn on the body camera for show them something. Yeah. But people camera with them catch up at them house. My viewers are subscribed. I have to play back one more time. I'm sorry. But I want to know to see what is happening. 
I'm glad that them not show the murder upon the, upon the video scene. But look how them do people pick me all the while. And say people pick me have gun. The man never have no gun. The man have him hand around him neck. You know, look. Relatives of Mr. Sterling are disputing the police's report on the incident. They have released a video purportedly from a surveillance camera at his home showing what appears to be a man identified as Mr. Sterling with his hands on his head being instructed to kneel before a single explosion is heard. JFJ says it is deeply concerned by the discrepancies in the account of the police versus that of the family, particularly regarding the timing and circumstances leading to Mr. Sterling's death. Executive Director of JFJ Michael Jackson says the use of modern-day body-worn cameras by police officers could easily assist the state, the family and the public in coming to terms with the true facts of this case. Mr. Sterling's case highlights the need again for the full use of body-worn cameras by law enforcement officer. It cannot be that you have controversial deaths and you cannot utilize footage based on a regularized device provided by the state. Body-worn cameras protect us as citizens, but it also protects law enforcement. If it Hello. Hello, them get the body cameras. It's not the government spend the money. I think it's the US give them the body camera. What is the police hiding why they don't want to use the body camera students? What is the police hiding? They're talking about, about Mr. Cheap and Clean, the police commissioner, and the same will just come out talk about police transformation. How can the police transform when them get free body camera and won't use it? Free body camera, them get. It's a set of corruption, corruption, the whole of them. I don't know why the whole of them don't go at 80, make, make sweet and sour, they done from 80 sweet and sour them. Is that officers involved in fatal shootings have a different account than what may have been reported? Then the footage from body worn cameras could easily dispel off any allegations. If it is that we come in conflict with law enforcement, then the body worn cameras and the footage from that would also protect us. Ms. Jackson wants the political directorate to support the wide-scale use of the cameras. JFJ is reiterating its call for members across both sides of the aisle, from the political leadership, to signal their commitment for body-worn cameras to be deployed and for protocols to be established and made public around how the footage from those body-worn cameras can aid in investigations as currently being undertaken by both Indicom and iProbe. We again reiterate our call for Dr. Blake, the newly installed police commissioner, to perhaps use this body-worn camera as part of his legacy of human rights policing. Most yes, my viewers and subscribers, me want to talk to me and tell me, no, two people or one people call me and tell me, no, yeah, man, see somebody a call me, man, me glad to me I get one call right away, man, well, on a second, man, yes, call your life on the program, on the ad program, talk to me, now. why you have to say about the matter now, the, what are we, the people them wicked and kill all the people in Pitney? I tell you, hello? Yeah, man, me I hear you call, and, hey, and, hey, a free body camera, the man them get and no one I use it, you know, my brother, you know, must be one criminal if you know, want to use the body camera after you get it for free. No most criminal activities you have up, have up in, a, in a your mind. Talk to the tuna, brethren, man. Yeah, man, I true, man, but I talk about the JP, you know. No, but I don't depend on the JP, you know. That was the first class, you know. I one different class, but I depend on one live class right now. When we just started 34 minutes ago. The live the way I talk about the JP was from, from 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock class. Oh. Yeah, man. So it's either you jump over to the new one, log on to the new one, or continue watch the old one, all right? But at the new one, may I talk about it now, yeah, yeah? Yeah, all right. All right. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, this meant about the fifth or the sixth call me get from somebody. This meant about the fifth or the sixth call me get from somebody. So them still are watch the old live. My viewers and subscribers, you know what on a second now? I want to call me. Come on, two people give me one call. Two of my moderators, I'm going to put up the number upon the screen there. Put up the number upon the screen there. Let me read some comments. Daniel Taylor say, help, help, help. Dr. Kevin Blake, police commissioner, help. Let's say truth. Sister, body camera must be worn. Uh, Dian Johnson said, banana leaf murderers. Yes, banana leaf murderers, it's true. 
Beverly Wilson says banana leaf. Lana Brooks said the camera is a must. Diane Roberts says sell all your Korea police to ET. Lana said corruption in every place in Jamaica. Meryl Gunn say she now watch the video. Maureen, uh, journey with me, 876, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth against the wicked them. Nod to say, me no, me, how me not hear nothing about no arrest. Who are going to get arrest? Who are, which police are get arrest in Jamaica? If the people have never gone bad, no well, Maitland would get arrested. And if it up to the people, if I never up to the people, would have thief the case a long time. Kim on Grant say, Andrew police them. Samantha Williams say, them never know ghetto people would have cameras there. Yes, that's why every ghetto people for have camera in them house. So that is good, say the police doing what Dr. Chan tell them for do. No, but the man not trouble this. So Dr. Chan said, them shooter for your shooter half after. The man never have none for them shoot him. The respect for said, does it matter who call the police? It no matter who call the police at all. Cooking with Tracy, wicked and more, say, a wicked them. Now, as I say, what transparency? The police are obviously telling lies, them for go to prison. Beauty Chase said, they need a new mind. Body camera excuses, not impressed. Michelle Fraser said, murder, blood, they pan them shoulder. Daniel Taylor said, where doctor commissioner them? You don't know where the commissioner they know, must say, under Smaddy. The day and time to say, one blood sucker them. Join with me, say, my God, my God. Let me speak with say, oh God, my heart bleed to see that. You can imagine how him feel for no he is going to die. Adapt me a tab. You can imagine no say them put up on your foot and say, God up on your knee and no say them are going to take your pints and you can't run, you can't do nothing. Nothing you hey, my brother say, hey, them government, hey, them way people are wicked, hey, them wicked, bad, you know. They may do this at a drunk or you are wicked, you know. Jesus, save you, my viewers and subscribers. Lord Jesus, my viewers and subscribers. Me sorry. Me sorry. My viewers and subscribers, me not say, oh, nobody no call me yet. I don't know if nobody no want to talk on the issue. But me move on to the next topic, my viewers and subscribers. The next topic me I go talk about is Mr. Langton him. The next topic me I go talk about now is Mr. Langton him, Christopher Tufton him. Because they may ask the U.S. that the U.S. must take off the Level 3 Travel Advisory. And the U.S. is asking, what have you done? People are asking, what you do? U.S. said the hospital now nah fix. What good you do for the hospital? When me go make on the ear with Mr. Langton, Christopher, Christopher Tufton, officer. Yes, Carla, welcome to the program. Good night. What are you going, brethren? And good night, brethren. Blessings, man. Me there, man. This is the program, right? Yeah, you man? Yeah, man. Me there, here, man. Well, I'm trying to miss it. Turn off the TV. Yeah, man. Turn off the TV, Bridget. Yes. Let me turn off. Let me turn off. When I say, like, I talk about the the GP. When I charge the lady ten thousand dollars. All right, my brother. Hold on. You make about the but you make about well, well, I know you make about the ten person or whosoever call me. Me not depend on live then anymore, my brother. Let me explain. I did. I'm doing two live. That was a live when we do from about five o'clock. That done is a new live. Me depend we start thirty five minutes ago. So it's a new life with the party. I will listen, but I'm going to explain something to you. I'm going to say GFP, not get paid now. Them get a stipend, them get something from the government. Them get something. Lately, I'm not going to start it. I don't know because them wrong with that debate money, so I'm not going to start it. But when I'm starting, yes, I know they're not supposed to charge still, you know. Yes. You understand? It's a voluntary, it's a voluntary service, you know. Yeah, we know that man, we hear that. So, um, we don't have that issue then now. You have to talk anything about the police, then we are killing people, them innocent, and the body camera pick them up. Yeah, right, well, yeah, yeah, more on the body camera, the camera. But then we lock up them out still, you know? No, but I'm saying to you, the question I'm yeah. asking you, should it be mandatory, mean the commissioner and the, 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 the minister of security come out and say, no? Half of where the camera on the can turn them off. If you turn it off, you're going to get suspension or lock up or, or get this yeah. man from the force. That's what we are talking about. Yeah, but that, that man, so I so agree with you. I yes. agree with you. For them, we're very, very monetary. I agree with you. Yep, can't just... I say, if they lock up, them, them would have to find a way if they lock them off. My brother, they must know them lock it off, man. Because when time you did them, man, even the headquarters can monitor where you are up on the road, man. My brother, there's no question about it. It's just the principle and following the rules. 
Yeah, yeah and that part nice, like, get the techie fan in that piece because they lock off everything you have rocket in, you know. But listen to me, they them understand? lock so brother, listen to me now. If them lock off it backside, then they don't know for them own detriment, that own for them own repercussion. Either you fire them backside, suspend so them on five months without PR or something. It's simple, that's what it needs to be. That, 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 the penalty before, you know. That's before right. Yeah, you know. That's right. That's right, my brother. But all right, thank you so much for calling. Yeah. Blessings to you. Come on, respect. All right. Blessings, cool. yes. Right. So, let me ask you a question, Mr. Portland. What make you vote for, what make you vote for, the, for the Portland people them down there? The man or woman? What make you vote for them? Hey, man. I'm hey, man. The band socialist of us, man. Remember, me tell you what me alone couldn't stop with them. Me not even talk to them, you know, unless if I want good friend, me know, like, for school days, you know. Me not deal with them, in you know, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, me may ask you one question now. No, so, so, you never get none of the food packages, them, with the treat, with the rice and flour and the tin mackerel and the, 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 the sardine. No, you don't tell you, Mr. I don't know, Mr. 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 Socialist, Mr. 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 Wait, so you're not, you're not following the man, 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 you broke in a, in a PNP, me, I chop me, you see, I go up and in my father, and before two bus and them something, chop me, you see, go up and go all up, me, him, down at Sam Shah Square, all, all, all about, you know. But do you have to come up, Michael, man, let me ask you, you know, man, remember me telling you. So you know, you're not the other side, none at all. I didn't miss ever come to a give all prior and all kind of stuff. And then I stop at my gate, you know. Because people point out that my gate long time, you know. And then I come to the gate, then tell them, no, come at my gate, you know. So we are saying. I'm not even the prime minister, if you can. Yeah! I tell you. I don't know how to eat, I don't know how to eat, I don't know how to eat, and enough time I see them out on the road, and some of them don't come on my gate, man. None of them don't come on my gate, remember me tell you. Wait, so when them dip on the road, and them walk 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 on the road, them not supposed to stop this, so? No, no, no. And my house to paint almost in, 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 in a red. If you think like you can't cut and cut, my house paint high up in a, in, in, in a something. Um, in pink, pink, but that the bright pink, the black, some cherry, black, some pink. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, so my brother. I my, I'm afraid I'm going to win them a pass up on my gate, too. Me start playing um, um, Michael Mandis and sang them. Oh, with the yeah, road. the bastard, the band, and the whole of them play. So if I don't hear them, then nobody not come on my gate. Don't ask anybody about, about my yard, man. Hold on there, my brother. Hold on there. Hold yeah. the on there. Hold on there. Hold on there. Hold on there. I would watch sitting at the class, you said. So you said, when you see them come and start playing Michael Mann in the bastard, the band, and the day again. <laughs> Remember me tell you, you know, but you want to know me, ask anybody about me, man. Remember me tell you, ask anybody about me, man. Well, well, I'm born to know, yeah. and all of my people are social. I'm not nothing. When are they messing up? All right, my brother. All right, my brother. Big up, I say, say PNP, you say straight. So you say, you rate where Mark Golden are going with then? Oh, we are talking. Oh, you mean, my damn new wealth, wealth, wealth. We are talking about that, say, man. You hear me, say? Me say, if it's my house, me have everything in the PNP. Me flag, me everything. I have my hand, everything. How we are talking, man? How we are talking, man? I'm my guy. They run out of here, you know, you know, Crawford, you know? Yes. Yeah, but but he, he never wins. But me alone can't can make him win. So I just say go and the money them he was in the boss man. Yes, as a talk about Damian I'm Crawford, I go and play him next. You said the money them use and win Portland. The money man, the money they win, you know. So I'm asking one question. Well, well, I'm Mr. Portland. They are nine at bars. They are polling station. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I and Cliff Hughes don't no call him all interview him and he say, I have the box and no I gone in yet. Me, yeah. And, and, and he asked him when he's in the airport, a, a, a like he still have, have people are going to vote. Nine o'clock at night, all after night. How you ask him what I mean? Boy, I'm not going to West Portland still in my Europe, but only two years already, two of them <clears> run around here. But I'm going to ask you one question now. I'm going to ask you one question, Mr. Portland, sir. You did see anybody strange from the day election, no only for people where you never know because there were rumors circulating that there was a flood of people who the residents of Portland have never seen in their life. 
and they saw a whole heap of them on the day of election. So people were wondering if it were, oh, it were, it were imported residents that were brought in to vote. You did see any of them, any strange people where you never know a vote, sir, on the day of election? Are you not a member? Well, me no, me no member, me no member them, because me no really, but anyway, you have them with a barrage of people around them, so, so me no really know them like them, really, because me say true, me no really deal with for them, but me not even two think more them. Okay, all right, my brother, well, big up yourself and go and support, so you ready for general election, me, me general? Me think I'll tell you, I'll tell you, sir, tomorrow morning, now we are talking to the last one, you know, you hear me say, I you know, you know, you hear me so when you say you wish that t- tomorrow, when you say you wish the general election was tomorrow morning, Lord Jesus, you know, easy, you know, my brother. You think that tomorrow, you know, you know, think that tomorrow morning. Well, guess what? As you talk about Damian Crawford, I'm going to play Damian Crawford next. So big up yourself, my brother. Thank you for reminding me about the Damian Crawford. Blessings to you, Mr. Portland. And anything you hear up in Portland, make sure you call teacher and tell him and tell your classmates them, all right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And, and uh, do me one favor, cool. go down to your MP this year, Galilee, and tell her I say, our topic say, ah. <laughs> Murder. Uh, All right, uh, take uh, care. Uh, take care, big man. My brother says, come on, you don't hear me tell big man, say, must go down to him MP, Mrs. C. Galilee, and go tell, and go tell, wait, me and there. I'm going to tell our MP, say, our topic, say, I. But anyway, students, let me go back in the other mix-up where I'm going to talk about now. Because the U.S. asking Mr. Christopher Tufton and the people them asking him, say, you are talking about, about travel advisory. What have you done for the travel advisory? My friends and subscribers, don't listen to the drama now. Well, I'm going to find the travel advisory. All right, Sita students, we want to listen now. The video kind of look long enough, no, but we want to listen students. Listen because it is important. Listen students, I want to hit the like button for me and bring the likes to 500. Hit the like students because class is going to get excited now. Up here, excitement may go on, you know. Because I want you to listen to Christopher Tufton's response. And I want you to tell me if that is sufficient for the U.S. to lift the Level 3 Travel Advisory. They're asking him, what measures have you put in place to fix up the hospital? Because the U.S. State Department mentioned that the hospital was in a deplorable condition. What did you do about it, Christopher Tufton? But why you listen to Christopher Tufton, my brothers and subscribers? Well, on. Before I make a listen to Chris, one gen, one man, I saw a call. Yes, good night. Good night. Welcome. Is topic. good night. Welcome to my program, my brother. Take one, two minutes and talk quick and fast. Let me play the video. Yes, to hear you. Yes. You see, you see, with the police, the money, body camera, they must wear. Yes. It must be mandatory. Yes. And you see, anyone, we have any, I don't turn on it. And we have any laugh, I know, say your name, turn on it. Yes. You must get. Ten year of prison, no less than ten years. What are them, brother? No less than ten years. So you be. say, so you say them turn off the body camera, prison them for go. Them not forget a fine, them not forget suspension. Pri- a prison them for go. Prison, prison them for go. God, they literally turn off the two in the one you can see. What am I doing? Well, so well, and yeah. you just raised a very good point. I'm going to put it in the poll. I'm going to ask my students. All right, let me close this poll so far and begin the next poll. I wanted to hold on a second. Yeah. And I want to welcome all the students that are on the live. If this is your first time, welcome to Jamaica our Topic. Now, in the first poll that I did, I asked a question. Should body cameras be mandatory? 96% of respondents says yes, while 3% says no. And them teeth one of the percent. So 96% of the respondents says yes, body camera should be mandatory, while 3% says no. Now, the other poll that I'm putting up is this. What should be the sanction or the punishment for a police officer who turns off the body cam? That is the question. What should be the punishment, right? Punishment for a police officer who turns off their body camera. And listen me, and listen me good now, Mr. Yeah. Attack. Yes. You see, if you suspend them, yes. they will come back and they will go do the same thing. And if they do it again, you, you, step up, you step it up, you step it up? Yeah, no step up, nothing to say, send him a jail. 
Lucky Hope. So you see next one, we are going to come and plan for ton of fish. We are going to know, say, we have a ton of fish, we are get 10 years of prison. So we are going to get 10 years, come on and deal with our family. So we are going to make the camera run. So they see what I go on. Because once you suspend them, they will come back and do the same thing. Yes. They will not have a change. Yes. Look how much time they will lick down, they will lick down people and they kill them. They will take him out of front line duty, put him way around so, and then he will come back. And then he will do the same thing again. The other one then do the same thing. They will not change. They will not forget harsh penalty. All right, sir. Ah, All right, hold on. Yes, hold on a second, my brother. So, students, I want you to participate in the poll. The question is, what should be the punishment for a police officer who turns off their body camera? Should they be suspended without pay? Should they fire them from the force? Or should they say, or should we send them to prison? There are three answers here, my viewers and subscribers. I want you all to participate in the poll. The question I'm asking on this on this platform here is what should be done? What should be the punishment for a police officer who turns off their body camera? Should they be suspended without payment? Should we suspend them without pay? Should they be fired from the force or should they be sent to prison? That is a question we're asking, my viewers and subscribers, and I want you all to participate in the poll because your voice is very important. Your vote is very important here, my viewers and subscribers. So I want you to participate and click yes or no or whatever you think. Yes, sir, back to you. And, and thanks for raising that good point. So you, sir, yes, prison them for God. You know, you know, we feel a topic for you are good, good picnic. And police can kill him and you suspend him for two months or three months. And then come back and roll a skin in teeth with him friend. Then. I find kill him your good, good picnic. A true. When you're a problem. A true, you attack. A true, you attack. Them come in murder in another case, a president for God. A true, you attack, my brother. That is a, a malicious, wicked act for true, my brother. But I leave the people a to decide yeah. that. Hey, look, look. Look for the man. Look, look what, what me see. Your shoe will go wild. Then tell the man to bend down. Yes. And then turn around kill him, man. He man no no gun, he no no. Even if he man no something, you who hold him? Yeah, I mean, we are killing for. A true. You can't blow bread. A true. It shows that them did up to something, my brother. Them spin and spin and spin him, stand up, them tell him to kneel down, he kneel down, then them carry him go around the corner and go kill him. I prison the whole of them for go prison, prison, prison. But you go, you know, you, you know, you know, oh, if you don't carry around the end of the day, all them let us get a cut free. Hello, let me tell you what they would have said. They would have said, shoot out the man for your shot off of them and they have to take evasive action. And that they would have to say, my brother, with them wicked, nasty self. Yeah. With their wicked self. So they must get. See, like, oh, you can kill him, man. You yes. can get 10 years of prison. All right. All right, my brother. Thanks for calling. All right. Blessings Cause, to you. Because you don't in a prison, man. Blessings yeah, man. to you. Thank All you, right. my brother. Have a good night. Thank you for the. All right, thank you, my brother. Blessings to you. Yes, my brother, subscribers, please remember to participate in the poll. Please participate in the poll. We're asking what should be the punishment for a police officer who turns off their body cam? Should they be suspended without pay? Should they be fired from the force or should they be sent to prison? Yes, caller, welcome to Jamaica. Our topic, you're live on the air. Yes, sir, I'm calling from Alabama. Oh, blessings to you, Alabama, man. Big up, Mr. Alabama. How are you doing, sir? Well, I'm looking for you from a quite a while now. You're the first man getting me for call, you know? Yes. Yeah, well, I would I think I would have do this, but... Well, blessings to you, man. I said the man. Your program so so real, I have to call you. Yes. Yes. So what may I say now? A policeman go to the station and him put on him shirt, him pants, him uniform, right? Yes. And when him go out, him don't take them off. No. No. So, 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 why should him take off him, 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 him camera? Why? So, for him take off him camera, I'm supposed to go to prison because he start to do illegal activities. He has corrupt intentions. He has something to hide. Why right. he decides to turn off the, 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 right. the device? Camera, right? Because you're not taking off your hat. You're not take take left in your gun. You're not leaving nothing else. So why turning off the camera? Very, very, very interesting point here is. Very, very, very interesting point because if the camera now becomes a part of the uniform, 
You're right. legally bind to wear it at all times once you're on duty. Right. Even if you're just t- telling somebody cross the road, that should be recorded. Yes. So once you turn it off, that means you have something up your sleeve. So you're guilty. Anything you don't have, you should just go to prison. So let me ask you this other question now. Do you think that the Jamaican government, the Ministry of National Security, and the police force, the police commissioner, do you think that they should all come together, equip every single officer who is on the street, every single officer on the street on duty must be equipped? Yes, if you have a gun, you need a body cam. Those go hand in hand. No, from your police. No, sir. From your police officer. Even the one in the station. So when I go to the station, you see me from my approach to the station. Yes, I understand. Even in the station. I understand. I understand. I understand what you mean. Every police. Every police should wear a barrett body cam. Every police. Once you put on the uniform, it's, a, it's like the button on your shirt. Yes. So, so, so once you don't have that, because if once you don't have that, that means... And the minister, they are not going to do that because they are so corrupted. They are not going to do that. But it is an idea, you know, my brother. Yeah. It is an idea, you know. You listen to me now, my viewers and subscribers. You remember why Devon accused the PNP because he must say them never talk, so they have a problem with Juliet from first. Don't, don't. So, yeah. so mm-hmm. we make sure a talk from first, so them can't say we never say it. Don't. We are talked from right. now until the new commissioner. So we wanted to make it mandatory that the police force equips all of... You know, so Jamaican people would vex if they want to promote... Me, Listen to me, me, my brother. It's, 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 Go ahead. Proceed. Proceed. Uh, proceed. Yeah. No, I said that should, they should start... Put it from the training center. True. For, from your beginning, training as a police officer, that should be one of the priorities. That should, should be one of the first things you use. Yes. You learn to use before you even learn to use your gun. Yes. But let me ask you the question, my brother. Do you know that as finance stricken as Jamaica is, do you know that most Jamaicans would not have a problem even though them can't do not, not, not with them them not can't have no problem? Even though they have a problem, they, they, they say it's not of any merit to the government. But what I'm saying is that do you know that the government would not face any major backlash from anybody if, they, if the government, the Minister of National Security and the Police Commissioner come out and say, Jamaica, you know, it's going to cost $100 million to equip every officer with a police body cam. And the fastest money that Jamaica would have come up with. The fastest Jamaica, money that. Jamaica would have quickly make sure say, the, 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 Jamaica would have up Prove the government spending that money. At the fastest, fastest, every uh, fastest thing that would have passed by every sensible Jamaican who understand the corruption, because that the, the, the police force is the main corruption in the country. So once you can get them under control, the, the citizen, everybody going to be under control. Because everybody have to give an account. Who rule to the police? Who the police rule to? Who approach the police? Who the police approach? So what you say, my brother? So you're joining the call that all police officers must be fitted Should. with a body camera while on duty. All of them. You're calling for that because must. we're calling. We're calling for it over must. here tonight. You know, students. If you're calling for it, say yes. We want it. If you yes, want, it, want it, students, if you are in favor, it I want it to type. All police must wear body cam. All police, if you are in favor of that, I want it to type, my viewers and subscribers. All police must wear body cams. Work the comments, my viewers and subscribers. If you are in favor that police should be yeah. equipped with body cam, type in at the comments, say, all police must wear body cam. Let them see and hear that is a new Jamaica we want of accountability. Because guess what? We're not trusting no phone no word against our word. Phone a story always sound fandangles. Police saw some men. Pulling a police saw some men. Men fired on them. They chased the men and, and, and one was killed and the rest in case escaped in nearby bushes. Escape the nearby bushes. We want to see on the, the video camera. Bush. We want to see on the video camera when they might escape on nearby bush. Sure, we so we can't say yes, I truly did that talk. That started from 1980. It's a time for a change. This program is calling yes, for sir. a change. The diaspora is calling for a change. 
and Jamaicans are also are calling for a change. Yep, we need a change. This can be a we legacy. This this can be a legacy of the police commissioner giving you ideas in a serious so much. Ideas may come over here, give them time after time, night after night, my brother. Yeah, yeah that's why I call you. For real. That's why I call you. Because I see I see I see I see where you pour up your program. But they're not gonna listen to you because No of course them listen. They listen. Enough things, enough things we talk them listen and implement. No things we talk they listen. So we, we, we just want to watch for see if the pressure will reach them. And sometimes it's that pressure will reach them. Then we look and say, boy, you know, so we a topic or two make sense. And it might work in them a favor, so do it. But in the interim, we also need to let our voices be heard. That we yes. want our police officers to be equipped with body cameras. Plain and straight. So you can see the interaction. So if there is a shooting, we don't want your word against John Tom Roach. Make a seat for ourselves. Plain and simple, my brother. Take a 30 seconds and wrap yeah. up for me, sir. Yes. Yeah, if I if, if I go down the street right now and the police just pull me over to tell me that to, to just stop me, his body camera is on before he come out of his vehicle. That's right, sir. That's right, sir. That's right, sir. Yeah. That's yeah. right, sir. So so one hundred percent I'm for that. That's right, sir. But this program that you're saying, the oldest program that you say you're gonna start, you're gonna start it Sunday night? Yeah man, Sunday night I'm gonna do the oldest program for all of the people I'm going to do the seventies, eighties and nineties. Tell you something from Nine comes straight up the education system. When, when you, you ever heard about solidarity? I think I heard that. I don't know what it is, but I've heard the word before. Maybe, All right, yeah. I want you to look up that solidarity. What that what they bring in in 1980, what they did, and and, and bring in this solidarity when they take old people, good kids out of high school, and give them cards and put solidarity. You sell sugar, you sell rice, you sell that. Who do that? Who take people picking out of school and, and, and who do that? See, I got, see, I got, see, I got. I passed my common entrance in 1980 when they win. You remember when they pass, they have free scholarship, or you get free book, or you get free things. When they win, I almost dropped out of school because I couldn't pay. They, they cut out free education. You have to pay. What are you You have to pay. You, 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 look, look, you got to pay. No more free education. Michael had government scholarship. When you got a government scholarship, not even book you buy. Because you did good in the common entrance. Hello, you get hello, free. hello, you get hello. You see, as you talk about it, you see, as you talk about it, you see, immediately afterwards, let me write it down. I need to play the D Damian Crawford. Because you know, so when Damian Crawford had education, him talk about. So I'm going to play the Damian Crawford video, and I'm going to also play the video of an elder He's about 70 or 80. And if you hear that man talk about PNP, and when in 1970, what Michael Manley or 80, what Michael Manley do, and how some students were able to go foreign for the first time from Jamaica, and I saw them start trade students. Hello, Mr. Right, Mego played the mail. Mego, students were going to start part of the did district you know class. That? Did you know that? Did you know that in 1970, when they, did, when they couldn't afford to go to university, he had a youth, pro youth program. And when you graduated from that, it is the same as you graduated from university. What we are saying? <laughs> you didn't even know. So you say, so based yeah. on your experience, then versus now, you're saying that it seems like we're going backward because back then we were so way, focused way on back. education. Jamal. Jamal, no Jamal. People used to see Street Street and in the evening, they go to Jamal, and those people become teachers, nurse, sweep in the street in the day, go to Jamal in the evening, graduate with a diploma to become teachers, nurse, and other professions in the government system. Wow. Yes. That's so why I tell you, when your program comes, that's why I have to call you, because I see that the, the 1980 was when they win that election in 1980. That's when the country went right back. Cocaine take over Jamaica. The, the helicopter come from America, burn down the weed, burn down the banana, burn down the coconut. Well, a story. We had the best. Well, I never we had the best I, export. I, I, a story. We had the best export of coconut, bananas, and all them things in Jamaica. And because of what they did, we lose all that. Remember. Mash up the farmers and I'll know they can't recover. Well, and then my brother, how you tell me, say, Lord Jesus, you start the, tour, the story time? How you say, my brother? How you, how you, how you yeah. 
Tell me a little bit more. Then let me give one in that two minutes. Tell me a little bit more. Cause you start it, you know. I mean, like here in the 1980s and so history. Me love you when yeah, you hear my skin catch up fire, you know. In the 1970s, me get one US dollar when me change it to Jamaican. Me get one dollar twenty Jamaican. Ah, uh, my brother, listen to me. Listen to me now. Listen to me. Yes, if you was in front of me, brother, I would have shake your damn and it's a big man. I would have shake your damn and let me tell you why. Student, I want us to talk about the exchange rate. And sir, listen to me. So when we open the Sunday night program, I want you to remember that your duty specifically is to let is to divulge on the exchange rate. Let me tell you why. I was watching up. Well, if, if, if Siega was Minister of Finance in 1969, and if he never changed the money to put from to them one to them corruption, them change the, the pound to dollars, and I'll know it can't recover. Michael Manley catch it back and steer it, and when them win in 1980, huh, oh Lord. My brother, my oh brother, Lord. and we're going to be discussing that, you know, because a lot of people forget that, you know, and we're going to be going down memory lane and reminding them, you know, because Devon have a, te well, you know, Devon have a tendency for always to talk about PNP 18 years. So we are going to go back down the 18 years and further and show them the history and show them how them Prime Minister wicked. When PNP get the 18 years, you know what they did to Jamaica? Tell us. They gave back the money that Siago borrowed and said he forgot. He borrowed how much million US and robbed the people them. PJ give back the people them land back down on Michael Mann, the boulevard down in Westmoreland. With the land that them sell out to, to foreigners. PJ give back the people them land. Give back the people them money. Just like how they robbed you saying both. He so he robbed the, the they had a bank uptown. I don't remember workers bank or whatever it was. No, and yeah, he say. borrowed the money and said he forgot. Do you know say me hear that story catch. there? Me hear that story that all the people say see I go borrow the money and say him forget. But oh him so wicked and oh, oh the man forget saying borrow the money and wicked and out of that you my brother. What a thief in man. What do you mean? Then if you may come and say Jamaica will turn communist, and if you have one house, yeah, if you have two house, you have to give somebody one. And if you have that, because Michael Manley had the, the, the doctors from Cuba. When you used to go public in a Michael time, I mean, a five doctor around, you know? Five doctor. God bless if you find five, one, one right doctor. now. God bless if you find one, one round. Hey, Jamaica, go back with you, my brother. Jamaica, go back with you, know? No, may I tell you? Hold on there, hold on there. Hold on there, my brother. So you said something earlier on. You say back then when you get one US dollar, are you change it to get one Jamaican dollar and how much? 20 cents. So, so the exchange rate was one US dollar to one dollar 20 Jamaican. Say yes or no? Right. Yes. I was watching a Jamaican play. It named Front Room with Oliver Samuels. A very nice play. And that play, you can go watch it on YouTube. That play showcase in a one yard, like a tenement yard, where Wallipa people grew up together and they discuss and war and all kind of something in that play. Front room. Who knows the play? Front room. Say, yes, teacher, I know the play. Front room. And in that thing, I hear the word saying, like, should I say, want to, want to go to Miami and buy up some US, you know. But the white man, them just to buy them up seven to one. I'm say seven to one. But wait, so the US dollar used to be seven US, seven, seven Jamaican dollar to one US. But you are telling me, say, you say they're cheaper than that. Five, 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 five fifty. Five fifty. You, you are telling me, say, you say they one dollar US to rot it. So Jamaica lose it money there in a back where Jamaica going, lose brother. It, lose it money. One time in a 1980, you get a, a five dollar, 19. Uh, 80, 19, 79, 19, you get a Jamaican five dollar, a Jamaican dollar. You can't spend that. A fifty cent used to get food my lunch money, I'm gonna eat that you know, buy patty and buck cocoa bread uh, and juice in a nineteen seventy nine with a fifty cent in a lie yeah, sir. Well on the sir, well on the sir. Well on the sir. Well on the sir with one pink paper. Well on the sir. Fifty cent. Well, and this, sir, I'll lie you tell. So you tell me, say, back in uh, your days, you use 50 cent by juice and patty. I would write it copy. I say, so, so juice and patty, the cheap in them, the days, the brother. Yes, yeah. man, 17 cent for your patty, man. 17 cent for your patty. A lie, 17 cents? Yeah, and, and, and 20 cents for the drinks. If you care, the bakla, if you care about the bakla, you see the 17, 18 cents or something like that. But when you buy the drinks in the bakla, you get it cheaper. And the cocoa bread was for five dollars, five cents. So, so you buy patty, cocoa bread, and, and juice. 
And at the evening, you have a little five cent or a ten cent for buy a, 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 a car because people used to sell wild cars. So you buy a piece of wild car and walk home from school if you live near school or them look away there. I mean, I tell about country. All in a Kingston oh, that you, all in a Kingston that you say, I'm to. KC, me go. KC, you're a bright boy, man. Yeah, me go KC, Kingston College, me go. Yes. I just said 50 cent I back went, then. I, 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 I went 1980 come me almost after leave school because my father couldn't find the hundred and dollar pay insurance for pay school fee. You know, so a while ago I saw somebody say that their first school fee was fifty dollar. And you say at that point in time your school fee was a hundred and how much dollar for your school fee? No, at that, that they bring in a nine. My first school fee was thirty five dollars when Michael was in power. Cause yes. we never get government scholarship. Yes. So me, 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 me get a regular pass, so me pay $35, but that $35 give me book, tie, epaulet. I mean, I have to find a khaki uniform and a shoes, and if you never have no shoes, then I have a system for give you shoes. For lie. So we are talking about, when I go to primary school, bulga, car meal, party, milk, exercise book, double line, exercise book, pencil, all of them sitting there free. Mr. Joe build a house book free. Right, it go. Well, and where the, where, well, and where the book near Mr. Joe build the house? Anybody know Mr. Joe build the yeah, house Mr. book? Joe. All right, ask them, Mr. Joe book. Well, and the students, lad, like, brother, I read your history lesson. Students, anybody know Mr. Joe build the house book? Brother, me never know them something there, you know. Me like you yeah, them like history, you know. So you said there, so Mr. Joe build the house book. They used to get that free. What kind of book was that? Was it an exercise book or was it's it? It's a reading book. A reading book. It's a reading textbook. Uh, yeah. Mr. Joe build so the house. Sure everybody get a big and read. We have different, different story in it, you know. But the book near Mr. Joe build the house. What a, what a part cover, my brother. All right. Look up everything when me I tell you, you know. Look up everything when me I tell you. The people in my comments, everybody in my comments are true, you talk. Everybody in the comments are true, you talk. Dorothy is true, him talking. Carl Hill say uniform no. too. Everybody has a true, you talk. Everybody in the comments, yeah, not once Maddie said, like, you tell me. You hear me tell you, you drop, you tell me you drop, you up because you're real. They just lie down and yes, I'm mean, not come back at Jamaica till PNP win because if PNP no win, I'm not come back. You know what you need for do? Try see if you can find one vote for come vote them in and make them win. That's what you need for do. See if you can put any of the voters list and come down and come vote. One man, the other night on the program say, he must save up fee partner money and throw him partner for buying plane ticket. A good idea. Throw the click till you find it. And see if you can come down here, come car, brother. I mean, listen to me now. Let me show you what I'm going now. You see, sometimes, look upon the class. Right now, we have 1,092 people upon the, upon the class. 1,098, almost 1,100. I mean, ask them, say, please participate in the poll. And at 228 people alone participating at the poll. I ask them, say, like up the like button. And at 481, as so Jamaican people stay, them love the excitement, but they don't like full participation. Them love, come over here and listen yeah, to the so things, them. Well, no? Them that, love listen to the things them. Right. Them love listen that's to the right. things they my brother. Mm. They don't they love listen to the things them. Them don't like eat the like button. They don't like participating at the poll. And I saw Jamaica, them love go rally and jump up. But when voting time come, they don't like vote. And that are them problem, you know. That are them problem when them for participate, yeah. them don't want to participate. The real way. The real way all them for participate. That's why me I say that's why me I say what that's why I say what you can do if you can find the time and find the little money. If you can start, save and yeah, put but down but and make sure your name is on the list. Make sure your name is on the list. No, I'm going to see about it, man, for real. But back to the for 90s real. argument. We can't get so much history. We can't get so much history. But hold on, listen to me now. So listen to me now. Somebody say, yeah. I used to get 15 cents on my lunch. Somebody say, also the, also the dog with the bone. Somebody said the book yeah, name is... Yes, somebody. <laughs> yes, somebody the said. Dog, it. Him shudder, him and jump over. Yeah, Lana B. Yeah, in the water and the ball look bigger. So yeah, I mean, like a ball, maybe that in the mouth and jump up at the big ball in the water and lose everything. Right, it could Lana B. Aslam said is Nola and the fa it, Lala, Lana said the name is Nola yeah, and the Nola farm. Too. Yeah, we know no land of farm. Somebody said Mr. Joe and Mr. Willie. Lord Jesus, the students them are talking yeah. things. I mean, uh, I mean see somebody said they used to pay must say one cent pan J O S. You know that busted J O S? Yeah. J O S used to pay two cents. 
two cent. How are the backside? Well, like two, two cent, cent. Two yeah, cent for bus fare. Them time they like one two. Yeah, but J O S bus. Two cent. Two cent from. Two cent from from. Two cent from from downtown. Anywhere, anywhere I go as a school pay the two cent. You get your bus ticket and you come two cent. Express. Then then you have express bus. Express and you have the regular route bus. So let me ask you one question now, my brother. You go through them old times there and you have a clear memory of them. And you're living in the reality in today's modern world. And I'd like to ask you the question, based on your honest assessment, is life harder now or is it or was it harder then? Be as honest we're, with me as possible. We're, we're, we're harder. We're, we're, we're harder. Life creates life... We never did think so. Jamaica, me think so. Jamaica, Jamaica is nice, you know. Yes. Jamaica is nice. And nineteen eighty, everything start go back from that. Whether they win from Sega win night, but before Jamaica is nice. Yep, yep. You go street. You have street dance where where people like when 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 Chris when when Independence. You have street dance, and and people come out. From early till the next morning, nobody never used to take bus and walk. Everybody walk, come home after dance, and nobody now fight and nobody now throw back. So what you are saying? You them time they did nice and yeah, safe, then man. Your yeah, competition was to see how much girl you got dance and how much any kid you get for drink. And so it, as, that was the, the, the goal for God dance, see which girl I got to stay with it the whole night, or how much girl I get for dance with, or how much any kid you drink. So let me ask you one question and, now. Was, I wish you heard them the yacht talk about the dancing at the 80s. Give me one big dance. So one big dance to keep where you remember. Give me one big dance. Tell me where the big dance keep and tell me what you remember about the dance. Tell me about, tell me, my brother. All right. You used to have street dance in an album view. Harborview Shopping Center. Yes. In the, in the early 70s, late 70s. Yes. And then 80s start cut out. Because it's like one little bit in the 80s, you know, but about 82, 83 done because this government, the government to come in in the 80s, appear violence. At them time, the people shot start fire in a dance. People never even know them things that could happen. A lie. So we say back then, yes, dance used to nice and nice. And now when the 80s, when Sia went to take over, dance, shut out, start fire and a dance. A change, things start change. Yeah, because in you know, the 70s, you used to have a thing named house party. People keep house party. Clear out the middle room, living room, house party till morning. You never hear no vibes and no violence and nothing. You know, see, you'd have, you'd have, you'd have, out of, out of above you run about they say you have super D and all them little sound system there every Sunday night come you work at airport and every Sunday night they can live and right back everybody everybody get to send them picnic at school because them dance send picnic at school reggae music send send picnic at school dance and feed people picnic because that's one of the main things sure. Sure. send people picnic at school feed them Mm-hmm. So me ask you a question. So you go in a driving theater. You remember go, you're going to driving theater. You ever go on driving theater yet? Me live near driving theater, man. I just don't believe it. Me live near driving theater, man. Driving theater was the la- driving theater. You see, past Sunday night time, yes. the line used to long from roundabout, roundabout, come straight to driving. Cause two show in a one at seven and one at nine. Yes. Cause when, go, when you go, yeah when you pay for the first show, you can sit down in there till till it, till the two show. Yes. So you have, you have, you have from east to west, two miles worth of traffic, long, especially when them have, especially when them have, at show, James Bond show, because James Bond was the acting, you know. Yes. So now that James Bond show coming, the whole road, long, uptown, uptown, downtown, everybody, no, people are slung them care patiently, look at you, them white glass, and, and get them look at lunch money, and them thing for go to school, and everybody live. We oh, yeah, say them time they so nice, yeah. man. Lord Jesus, you make me, right, you make me man. just a yeah, think about them time they so brother. You don't have the money, you just sit on out there driving and turn on the transistor radio, and a man sit on there with him big tea for you. So you like them have the little theater outside to kind of, you can't pay going a two dollar fifty them time there, you know. Yes. So you, it, it, it kind of. <laughs> Hello, me listen to some people tell me say I'm not the 80s, oh them all sit down in a tree and pan all stop and peep on the pan the theater and list that when big show keep. The them the, the sound did the sound did the People tell me say this. 
Yes. A, a true thing, you turn on your radio, right? Because they have a channel where you turn on and pick it up by your radio outside. Yes. So you know about real to theater, real to real to theater. You never know about real to and kings and and the whole of them place. They remember that KC me going on. Remember that KC me going on. Yes. Real to kings, the whole of them. Mrs. Somebody has said. Mrs. Somebody has talked of some things. What? You that one big real to kings. Me a young boy, you know. Me no know them all of them something that I could never tell you one of them place that type of the students are my type, me I tell you. Yeah, me I tell you. Ask them about the one, the, the theater where the South Camp Road bottom the South. Students, where the theater that was out by South Camp Road, the bottom of South Camp, I passed that sometime which part of them have the big post office now. Can anybody tell me what's the theater that is at the, the end of South Camp Road? A palace? A palace? A palace? Yeah, I think a palace, a palace theater, I know. Students, to all of the yeah. people in the comments, the theater that was done by, by South Camp Rose, is the name Palace? Yes, yeah, somebody said Palace. Lana Aslam said Palace for two. Yes, yes, Lana Aslam said Palace. Somebody said but, Tropical. No, come on, 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 where you know about Radio Fusion 24 7? I want him Radio Fusion now, my boss. I want him Radio Fusion. I want, I want him so now. Uh, Radio Fusion, I want uh, Radio Fusion. Uh, RJ and JBC, me know, you know. Oh, I, I got them the name before Radio Fusion. RJ, yeah, RJ and JBC. You uh, understand, too? Uh, JBC. Radio station. Oh, one lady on the program said for ask it. One lady on the program said for ask the caller if he knows Adams from They are the road they are the drive. The rather drive. The rather drive, yes. Adams. Oh, him said no Tido, yeah, here. Somebody had said one dollar for quarter bread. That's so bread used to cheap one dollar for quarter bread. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sir. Gonna, I get, I get this about the night too, cause you know, say at night time when white school are uh, licking, you can go to the shop and buy a quarter bread, and you get this about the night. We are so, saying. We know from uh, one dollar used to buy half a bread in my time, half a national bread. Mm. Fifty cent a fifty cent a quarter, two dollar for a bread. Well, I'm a brother. Then the yeah. time, then the time that's so like the life. Then the time that's so like life, yeah. my brother. When, hey, you see when time my grandmother said we go to the supermarket with twenty five dollars. Yes. Oh, hell, to carry home them the goods there, twenty five dollars. Well, and them, my brother. Well, and them, well, and them, well, and them, man. Well, and them. Give the drama again. You say when Fio Granny said you go go supermarket with twenty five dollars. The first thing which supermarket you did go? Where the supermarket did there? Shoppers Fear, Shoppers Fear. You have a, you have Shoppers Fear in the Above You Plaza, right? There's a Shoppers Fear. I think we have. It is the it is it named Shoppers Fair until them changed it. And they have one next one named Janar Wang. I like well and well and well and well and well and Me know Janar running in a new Kingston. That's so long Janar Wang they bought. Yeah, did they have of you? I lie, me never know that. So Shoppers Fair they bought a long time then the man. I wish you hear that you attack. Wish you hear that you attack. You know the same things? Yes. So where is it? So where is it? When you go shoppers fair with your twenty five dollar, when you go shoppers fair with your twenty five dollar, where is it? You can't carry them. They are wally pago to get for twenty five dollar. Everything, everything from everything. Can me get my long list? You know, me get my list. We go buy in the car. You know, see them as in your shop. Them write the list gear. Yes. So when you buy your long, you buy every everything, everything, and then you go over one place. Them AMC. I buy the yam over there. So, can I have a, 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 a food place with him? AMC. They sell pure provision. A, AMC. Which part of AMC did they? Yeah, in the Arborview, same way. Oh, in the Arborview. Okay. It, yeah, a different, different branch, though, but I tell you about you know, where they have. So, you're going there. That was like a market, an indoor market. Yes. So you go in there, you buy yam, you buy, because they have the fresh, the fresh provision and the fresh produce them, you know? Yes. Mm. And then the butcher them, then you have the butcher shop across there, so you go buy your fresh meat, you know? Yes. Then something that I go on again. 
Well, I'm my brother. I saw it go. I saw it go. I saw it go. Wicked man. I saw it go. The wicked government. But them, the time they sound good, my brother. But me still, I go go on easy myself and go back into the program. But Sunday night, when I open the program, I want you to call and tell me anything else where you have to say, because boy, my brother, I will tell you, say, me never expect you to stay so long. But me love you, them, your story, my brother. Me, me don't know for some reason. Yeah. Me, 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 I don't even know who that call you. Me, I'm going to do this. You know, I'm the first me ever do this. First. Yes. Wait, so the first ever. Your program. And the first ever yeah, call him for one program. Mm hmm. Yes. Never. Never. So you like the discussion, Never. so you have to participate and yeah, call him. Yeah, yeah, man, you're real, man. You're real. I can feel you, man. That's why you get, that's why you draw me out, you know? Yeah, man. Well, respect, respect my general, man. I'm big. Well, and somebody said, John R. Wong at Rockford, Lucas Road, Winward yeah. Road. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Somebody has a Carby Supermarket and Clothing Store, Tarrington Bridge. Somebody say AMC Market, Three Mile. So well, you see the album, you may tell them have different branches, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I'm ask you one question. You know nothing about kerosene fridge. How that one they go kerosene fridge? No, no, kerosene fridge, no, kerosene fridge. Yeah, well, no, kerosene fridge, that's what you use. Kerosene, kerosene, that kerosene island, you know, because you'd have gas fridge and you'd have kerosene fridge because you'd have people who could never have no electricity, you know. Yes. So them have Cursey Nile and run their fridge. You, you know what Cursey Nile is? Yes. Me know Cursey yeah, Nile, man. Me remember back then. Somebody asked if me a 80s. Yeah, me a 90s pick me. Me a 90s baby, brother. Yeah, me a 90s. Me a young, yeah, man, young you boy. Have my, my, my kids are born in the 90s, man. Yes. I me remember sometimes you used to go buy Cursey Nile. I never remember how much me used to pay for Cursey Nile in them days, the massa. So and back then... You buy a girl and... What's about... 15 cents used to buy a gallon of cursey nile because everybody that used cursey nile. Like right, so, remember, ask you one question now. Remember, ask you one question. What was big food in a them time? Like, how ox still a big food now? What was a big, nice, good dinner them time there? Like, say, you, you have money. One nice, nice dinner uh, food that cooked them time there now. Tell me what kind of food cooked them time there when family have money. What kind of food used right, to be big be food them time there? them time there. You know them time the food was so nobody never have no big everybody eat big food, my brother. Everybody eat big fish, everybody eat big chicken, everybody eat big ox deal because the food could have afford. You don't even have nothing but you have big food. Food was the least. Yes. So people food could have find them food no. without struggling. You never have to say this a big food or that food because it was so affordable. Food, yeah. You, you, cook, you, know, you, you know, you cook your rice and peas for, for Sunday, but if you feel like it's the enemy you want in another week, it, the, you can't afford it. Wow. Why well, I mean, I yeah, like them. The time they sound good, my boss. I mean, I like me. Could I sit down and chat from now till all four o'clock about them things? I'm awesome. I love you, them, them, they something, yeah. Food, food was the issue, man. Food was the issue. People are calling for come help eat them food. Oh, Jesus. Somebody said, I'll treat me, no fries. <laughs> hey! The first one, they're treat me just to cook on my yard. I like you tell me, bro. Well, I know. Where is it? Tree yeah, meat? Try that now. Try that backside now. All right. Every, every Sunday, tree meat cook on your yard are to the least then. Every Sunday. Because you might have one to eat the pork, work. And you might have one to eat the chicken. And you might have one to eat the beef. So, them cook tree meat. And you know, sir, two yard talk. You know, sir, two yard talk with them. Some of the other, um, when me a boy grew up in you know, my brother, and my mother cook, and my auntie cook, and this, I want to cook and send over food, go get that one day. Like, like every woman normally right. cook and send food. Like, if you cook fish, yes, and Mary cook chicken and pork. You send over Mary chicken and pork. You know, and share food. Yeah, like them, some of them now, I'm not getting my brother. Yeah. I treat me to cook no, them time no. for two. Treat me, treat me for two. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The greater the coconut and the coconut trash left with the way with with we with carry dog have to eat too, you know? Yes. Yeah. So, what kind of juice yeah, now? What kind of juice do you used to get them time and all, sour brother? Sap juice, sour sap, sour sap juice. Yes. Sour sap juice. And, and more time, you get, the, you get, you get, Carrot juice with 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 a little Guinness in it. Guinness, yeah, me drink that for two. Carrot juice and Guinness. Me drink that one for two. My auntie used to love make that. Yeah, but yeah, all right, yeah, that's that's what me say. But sour sap juice, ah Jesus. Yeah, man, I love man sour sap juice. Yes, man, we say sour sap juice for grandpa on Sunday. Yeah, but people, Jamaican people, these are talented. Them create them only little juice, you know. Yes, yes. 
them 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 blame up something and them great up or greater them great up and you know juice up juice up juice up you know all, all the characters them used to use it and turn and fry fritters with that you know and you get that sunday evening well night. i never brother well on well on the well on the well on the largies and me can't make your pasta one day oh yes that one day used to go them used to use carrot trash and make fritters <laughs> tell me that one day my boss or that yeah. go <laughs> yeah they mix up the carrot trash because that my grandmother used to like a sunday we know when you watch sunday matinica you know sunday didn't come early you know so when you watch sunday matinica the jbc tv alone you have in them so one TV, a one, TV, same, a one station they used to have them time there, which is JBC. Yeah, JBC. Yeah. So did I show JBC. a color, a color or black or white them time them about? Black and white, black and white, black and white. Black and, and white. Have Sunday matinee where everybody go watch 4 o'clock every Sunday. Everybody go watch Sunday matinee. Because you know, say after, not, not two nights, but go on past Sunday after Sunday matinee. No? So tell yeah, Sunday matinee. Sunday matinee. Sunday matinee. Yeah, Sunday matinee. Sunday matinee. What is that? Is that show? Sunday matinee, matinee, I show movie, that? A movie will come on for, a, no, it's like, it's like a movie come on every Sunday. Yes. So everybody have to look, sit, go look towards that. So you have your little cheese chicks, yeah, you know, you have your little ice cream, you have your little fritters, homemade, wherever your people, they make you sit down and watch that, you know, your big black and white TV, you know. So somebody said TV. Somebody said TV sign off at night. So when you mean the TV used to knock off, and when they turn it off, not never used to come on. Like rain, rice green. Oh, where else? where else they used to go? Shh. <laughs> oh yeah, say how far you come from, a general man? How far TV you come from, then after man? Dennis Hall. You see after Dennis Hall. Let me tell you. You see after Dennis Hall, reduce ten o'clock TV sign off. <laughs> oh no, yeah, tell so you know, Dennis. You know Dennis Hall? I don't know who name is a young boy, I'm a general. Dennis Hall, he used to be, he used to be the TV reporter. Yeah, the, yeah, the, top, the top news reader, Dennis Hall and Ray Forrester. The man, the Ray Forrester come from Portland and he read the radar. When he tell you the radar, he's wrong, you know. Ray Forrester, lie. So we say he was a top uh, a weather broadcaster, Ray Forrester. Anybody know Ray Forrester? And Dennis Hall. And Dennis Hall. Lindy Della Pena. Lindy Della Pena. Lindy Dena Dena Pella. Pella was a leading sportsman. Oh, I know about Dela Pena funeral, who am? Lindy Dela Pena, that's the first man who played English football for Jamaica. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to ask one question uh, now. So I'm going to ask one question now. Back then when all people used to dead, tell me about how funeral used to go them time then. Uh, them used to what? what, what? Um, you used to, hey, you see, you see when time people dead, a night night with a, 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 a singing, you know. You saw them people are dancing, you know, a night night with a singing. Well, and when, they, dead, them time, them when people, somebody dead, a nine different night with a singing, you have every every day singing, is a different and singing. From, and the last night, fish and bread, sprat, because they never sprat and, and bread. But white woman people are singing the 99. Uh, yeah. Right, pack your ball out. Even if you know the people when they got the 99, they just start ball. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it ain't easy, yeah, no, my general. It ain't easy, you know. You're afraid, you're afraid, you're afraid too, you know, because you might think they don't be right, you know, because you're afraid too. <laughs> yes, it ain't easy at all, you know, my general. But 99 nine, nine was a. Uh, when somebody dead, them used to respect it so much that. It was Even sacred. You, the person, you, you show that reverence at the nine nights, you know? Because it was like a church service every night until that person buried. Yes. Nine nights was a church service. Yes. You know somebody named Tony mm-hmm. Patel? Who named Tony Patel? You know that name there? Tony Patel, Tony Patel was a JBC. New, I believe a, a, a sports team used to read to. Tony Patel and Errol Lee. Ask the person who named and Errol Lee. KV, KV, the caller asked if any of you know who named Errol Lee. Yeah, Errol Lee. He, he used to sing in a group named the Berry Central, too. Oh, you know Never Willoughby, who named Never Willoughby now? I mean, no, Never, Never Willoughby was a singer, man. Never Willoughby. Never Willoughby, oh. Mm. Oh. He was like, he was this, uh, this Alan Magnus, you know, Alan Magnus, these them time, because Alan Magnus, I come from them time, that you know. Alan Magnus, the broad, me know Alan Magnus, yes, me know Alan Magnus. Yeah, but, they, they, but from them time, they were coming in with a one song, one lot, you know, you know a good song, you know. 
In my flying machine, I go up, I go down, and it's Magnus We know that song they know, and them remake it as you go round and round and round and round. Every tick <laughs> of the <laughs> clock, my girl whining non-stop. No, She's I don't whining not <laughs> 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 I the new style. I the new style. I the new style. Me no. Oh, the old style. Go. I the new style. You see the difference between old and new. Me I sing the old, oh, the yeah. new one because of the new one. Me no no. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Oh, but well, I'm a brother, may I tell you, say, brother, I could have sit and chat till about 530. Me love you about the old time time then, my brother. I mean, now I lie. Big up yourself, my general. My right. job is a blessing for talk yeah. to you. Sunday night, I'm going to open back the phone line. Now we are going to have to finish this Sunday yeah, night. I'm going to try to get up on my phone so I can, can, you know, because you deserve a thing, man. Yes. You deserve a thing, man. I'm going to try to set up the thing. Because I tell you, I don't know if you know them something. You know, because I'm TV, I watch it for you know. Yes. Well, big up yourself, yeah, man. Just, big up. Uh, don't load it, but I just took my thing, man. Because you have to eat food, you know, people. You have to eat food, man. You deserve, you deserve to eat food, man. Which is right, my general, man. Yeah. Blessings. Students, remember, yeah. now you can bless up a topic, you know. You can bless up a topic if you appreciate the program, yeah, man, the vibes. Yeah, man. Bless up, man. You deserve it, man. Yes, students. All right, my general. Big up yourself and blessings to you, man. One of them, son, Sunday night, me make sure I go take the time for open the program. And when me open the program, everybody me want to call, take one ten minutes and tell me about them sixties and seventies and eighties. I will not trouble you and disturb. We are going to make you talk. Big up yourself, my general. All yeah, right? Man. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, all right. You too, man. Yes. My brother, subscribers, me never know all them something there. The man say you must could have used, must it, what, what that? Carrot trash, make fritters. My friends, the subscribers, me never know them something. There. Me never know say TV used to sign off how much hours a clock. Me think TV run 24 hours. And when the people might say 50 cent for bus fare, 50 cent, $25. When the man say $25, make him go to supermarket. Me I say with the first class, second class, middle sex, well on the caller. Students, if you appreciate the, the program, remember that you can send a thing in a hot topic in a, the first class. We are doing never beg on nothing at all. So in a, this program, I'm going to ask you, if you have something, please I beg you, send one $10 or one $5 in a hot topic. Cash up. See the information on the screen there, my viewers and subscribers. The, 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 the Zell is 347-234-9320. 347-234-9320. The name on the Zell is Kayan. If two only can send two twenty dollar in the Zell, I would greatly appreciate it. And the cash up is dollar sign Jamaica at topic. If you enjoy the program, my viewers and subscribers, you can support the thing and send one ten dollar, one five dollar, one fifty dollar in the program. Whatever you have, the Lord bless you. I would be grateful for it. Thank you, my brother. Welcome to the program. Where you know about the eighties or the nineties or the seventies now? All right. Well, I'm me, me born in the sixties. 60s, and, you ban, large as So I don't, in, in, in the 60s, so I just, I, I born 66, right? 66? Right, the greatest year, greatest year, reggae music start that year. Selassie, when I drew me a band, Selassie, come to Jamaica. Because I know that June Selassie 66. come April 1966, right? I remember that. Right, I, all right, cool. But anyhow, just to fill in, um, I look at things from the conversation a while ago. Yes. They would never, never will obey. And this is something that um, you must know. Never will obey was on the radio, right? Um, he was on the radio. He used to do the Colgate, the Colgate um, TV show. Colgate used to have a TV show. Yes. Right? Every Saturday, right? Colgate, Paul Mollive. Yes. Right? And it's not to do with kids and things. So anyhow, and Never Will Be is known. His claim to fame was the best interview with Bob Marley, any Jamaican re announcer or TV personality ever had, right? The best interview was with Bob Marley. So right? Never Will Be is, 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 Never Will Be is yes, proud for having the best interview with Never Bob Marley. Never Will Be did I, it, yeah, he did an interview with Bob Marley, which is considered the best interview Bob Marley ever did. Wow, I never right? knew that. Yeah, right. So that is something that you 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 must know, you know? Yes. Well, right? you're you teaching me? You're you teaching you me? You can find the interview, right? Yes. Um. So. So never was never will be was it in there. Um. The 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 
man on the radio with the Colgate TV, the Colgate show that they had for it was for kids, you know, and of course it's Colgate Paul Bolive. So yes. they used to promote Colgate. Yes. Right? Right. So um that is that is something that I wanted you to know, right? And you were talking about Errol Lee. Yes. He read news and he eventually had a um a a, a reggae band, right, called Beer Essentials. Yes. Right? And then it's all Oh, Dennis Hall was an original school challenge quiz man, and he used to read news. Well, I'm a brother. Right? Well, 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 well. Then school challenge quiz are going so long, so long school and school challenge quiz are going, my brother. Yeah, man. No. Yes, well, Dennis Hall was the first one, and he was great at it. Great. He was uh, the um, <clears throat> he was uh, the the host. Right, and of course, the one where I asked the questions and all, and he was great at it. Yeah, and he read news, right? And um, he used to wear some glasses. Um, everybody, you know, it was a popular figure. Yes, right. But, but definitely looking forward to hear the the um the Sunday program, man. Yes, right. Sunday we're going to fix everybody's business. Huh? I said, Sunday, we're going to fix everybody's business and get to the old school matter because I realize that the students are craving for the old school lessons. And as such, we're going to be revisiting yeah, the matter. Of course, of course. And, you know, I can talk about everything, talk about the things we're coming from, like cassette and ear track, cassette, ear track, reel to reel. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, you know, um, um, soul system, you know, you have uh, soul system. Just to carry a ten man in you know, just to carry a record, you know. Me know about record, that one, you know, man. Me know about great. that. Me know a little bit right? about that. And no, and no selector carry record or in an um short pocket, Mm-mm. right? Right? And then we um USB. Yes. No say go. Yes. Right. Let me you ask know, one so, question. So I'll box, I'll box man them now for the, that job get a blow up. Let me ask you one question right? now. So, let me ask you one question. So you used to spend pound. You ever spend pound yet from your band? No, I never spend pound. I never spend pound. Because um, dollars came in. Dollars came in. I think it was 69. But, but um, yeah. Up to, um, dollars came in 69. Right, so um, so all I, well, so as a kid, I, I only know about um. And so when I born, when I born, when I born was around, but I never spent it. Okay. Right. Okay. But I start when I started spending his dollars. Okay. Right, and you know, of course, fifty cents coin, fifty cents coin that is shaped like um, um, was for Marcus Garvey. And yes. it's at the eight, the eight sides, shape, the octagon side, and like, well, and the octagon. So 50 cents, the 50 cents of the octagon right. shape, it never fully round. Right. From the one round, it was eight sides. And as a matter of fact, the rich man, um, which is Cecile the singer, her, un- her uncle, her, yeah, her uncle, her, her grandfather, he built his house. With, with the fiddlestick shape. Oh, right, see, see. Shape. Oh, so you say her grandfather built this house. Anybody know about that yeah, house Mr. in Mandeville? Mr. Cecil Charlton. Hold on, let me ask he, them. He built his house. Hold on, students. And Hold on a second, shape, my brother. She able to talk like the fiddlestick kind. Hold on, let me ask them. Students, anybody know about Cecil Charlton house when building a Mandeville will look like the, the eight the octagon eight kind. Anybody in the fifty cent kind? Anybody ever see that house there in Mandeville was Cecil? Anybody know about that house there? In Mandeville, the, the house is still there. Oh, it's still there. The house is now. still there. Okay. And that is Cecile, the singer. I know Cecile. The, yes. the DJ. The, yeah, yes. that's her. That I think it's her grandfather. We never right? knew that. Um. Which is Cecil Charlton. Yes. Right? And him, him was a, him, a rich man out of Mandeville. Yes. He used to fly up and down in a helicopter. A lot. We saw soon. Right? And um, him, so he built his house in the 70s with, with the Philistines kind of shape. You know, in Mandeville. Yes. You know, he had a lot of money and he was a booster. 
Yeah, Tread White said it's still there. Tread White said it's still there for true. I refer to And it was yes. a nice man, though, you know. It was a nice man. Yeah. Right? And wear a pure white suit. It's a pure white suit. White shoes, wear. everything. Yeah, man. It, it's no, you know, man, now wear white. Like, where the Mr. Weird farm one time. White was a, was a, was a dapper, the dapper thing, you know. Well, and the White sister. shoes, everything, you know. Well, and my brother, somebody said Cecil Charter was the farmer. May have Mandeville. Me never knew him was the mama. Somebody said he was yes, a mayor yes, or something. Yes, he was a mayor, too. Somebody said he was a PNP. No, he was a GLP. He was a GLP. Well, Lana, say my PNP. He was a GLP, but, but it, was, it, was a, it was a nice, it was a nice man. Yes. Right. Yes, but um, he was a GLP, not um, that. It's only GLP, man, them both say, you know, but he, was, he could get away with it. Okay. Right? Okay. Like I remember in a GLP, a capitalist, you know. Michael yes. Manley telling you, know, with a um, PMP man, a show off, you know. Now we are both the clothes, you know. Yes, then there's. Kariba. Yes. Says the child, I never wear Kariba. Right? Up here, jacket him wear. And tie and the right in the seventies. I must talk about that. Um, Shirley Ralph mother yes. was the big designer for the Cariba. She used to make Michael Manley suit and, and my father suit. Um, Cariba suit them. Oh, right? Shirley Ralph and jacket. Shirley Ralph. I think I you should talk Shirley, about that Shirley, story. Shirley her mother. Ralph mother. Mother. Yes. That's Ivy, Ivy Ralph. Ivy Ralph. Yes. What a history lesson. Talk right. to me. She used to build, right, the Kariba suit. Kariba suit is what Michael Manley brought it, which is bush jacket. Yes. But it, it, um, you, you're right. The, the, the pants and the jacket, right? And that's why, that's why um, Michael Manley taught us. We never dress up in a jacket and tie. Yes. Um, as a matter of fact, when you say, when you say bag wool in a three-piece, um, I don't think Michael would have really love that now, right? Yes. <laughs> Michael would have really love the three, the three piece when Ma had on, but Ma look good though in it. You know, nothing wrong with that now, you know? Yes, yes. I see some people saying that the man served JLP and PNP. That's what people saying, that he served both of them. It could be, it could be. Like I say, he was a very nice man. Yes. Right? He was a very nice man. Yes. Right? Um, and that could have been possible. Yeah, right? the number of people that's um, a, um, a number of people. I remember more, a more. A number of people saying What's it. that? I saw a number of people saying it here. Take, for example, Sandra Davis saying he was a PNP, then 1980 switched to JLP. A number of people saying that. Michael Coley say, says to Charlton was first a PNP, then after him switched to JLP, and then later him switched back to PNP. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Somebody else says right. Carlton was P and P. Well, no, I, well, I well, tell well, you, well, he was well, a well, very nice man, well, right? Well, and comments. if you, if you, if you, and him, he used to own race horses, right? Yeah, I know about and, the race horses. And like I say, he used to, and him used to fly down with a helicopter down the Cayman as far, all right, and landed in white suit and all of that, right? And um, and of course, you know, it, it was well loved. It was but well loved. On. But well, I'm a brother. Right? Well, and so in the that helicopter from in the seventies and sixties helicopter. In a, in a, um, well, all right. Um, let me see. No, I would say that that would be more in the eighties. Yes, but right? in but in my rich man from long time fly around in a helicopter. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. I'm known for them. Have a joke. Them, uh, let me give you this joke. Them have a joke. Say, um, um, say. Um, with you know, you, you know, you know, Skendad, you're of Skendad, right? Yeah, man, I know of Skendad, yes. All right, and you know, say him from down that side, too. Yes, so the one joke we say when Sister Charter and Skendad argue about money, yes. Sister Charter was the same of wealth for money, yes. And Skendad say him, him. Free money can pay the whole of spur tree. <laughs> yes, and money argument that that too. Money man, them they no massa. <laughs> All right, so you know, just to show you, you know. Yes, yes, right? yes, yes. But um, yeah, but but like I say, like I say, it, um, it was a very nice man, very nice man, yes. very nice man, you know. 
Yes. Yeah. Well, all right, my brother. Now, <laughs> Thank you so much for participating in the yeah. program. Sunday night, let me give you a chance to finish up, all right? Yeah, man. All right. And like I said, continue, man. Good work, man. Love it. All right. Blessings to you, my brother. I must give Junior, my impaired friend, a chance to call because I know Junior is a history man. And I know Junior love the history. So let me give Junior one five minutes to talk about the history. And then me go talk. Well, and before me make Junior come on, I want you to listen to this, my viewers and subscribers. What elderly man I go talk about PNP and education. Me want you to listen to this and then me go bring on any other person who know about, about history. Yeah, man. Me bring on this, my viewers and subscribers. Me want you to listen to that big man here I talk about education. Me want you to listen to that big man here, students. Hit the like button for me, the students. And remember, feel free to support the program, my brothers and subscribers. If you enjoy Jamaica a topic, just feel free to hit the like button. You can support the program by sending something to the Zell, send something to the Super Chat, whatever you have. The Lord will bless you. I greatly appreciate it. My brothers and subscribers, you're going to hear a gentleman. It's just like how we hear some big man attack something. You're going to listen to this man, big man, give you a look at PNP history lesson. It says power to the people. PNP history lesson. Students, I want to type history lesson. I want to type history lesson into the comments, my viewers and subscribers, because this man right here is about to let us get some history lesson from the PNP. And I want you to listen to this, uh, this uh, gentleman. As you look for him, it's an old man, this him know him history. Listen to him, I'm going to tell you about PNP history and education. Let's go. And if I throw him a talk, say yes, a topic a true. Let's go. Now about the PNP party. PNP was the first government yes. that come in Jamaica yes. that bring education yes. to Jamaica. Yes. The rich people, picking children, used to go to school and they can spell what and they get positions. And the poor people, children, couldn't get no chance. PNP government come in and said, all right, scholarship, I pay poor people. And if they pass it, they can get a chance. When PMP come in, they go to America and bring in branch Texas courage at Maldon. The one who brings come in the branch, Dr. Branch. And if there comes the P children, they go to branch Texas courage. And they start supply them with the education. And more, all of them, most of them come up. Some go to England. Some go to America, some go all the world over the place. It's so the poor people, children, them get to survive by PNP government. You hear that? Yes, Mr. Maggie. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, tell me if I threw the elder talk. Anybody know about that? Say PNP get people from Texas to come here. Come on, students, if you don't know about the history, let's call me. Is it true the gentleman attack? Let me play it back one more time. I couldn't listen to my brother's subscribers. The man I talk about him history. If I true anybody in here when know this a history type and say I true him a talk a topic. If you know about what this man has said, let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. now about the PNP party. PNP was the first government. Yes. That come in Jamaica. Yes. That bring education yes. to Jamaica. Yes. The rich people, picking children, used to go to school. And they can't spell what, and they get position. And the poor people, children, couldn't get no chance. PMP government come in and said, all right, scholarship, I pay poor people. And if they pass it, they can get a chance. When PMP come in, they go to America and bring in branch Texas courage at Maldon. The one who bring it come in, branch, Dr. Branch. Hold on, Mr. Brown, Junior. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. After the, after I let the gentleman, the gentleman talking about education. education. Hold on. And more, all oh, of yeah, them, no most of them, come up. Some go to England, some go to America, some go all the world over the place. It's so the poor people, children, them get to survive by PNP government. You hear that? Yes, Mr. Maggie. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, there you have it. We have Brother Junior on the line. Blessings to your Brother Junior, you're live on the air. What do you have to say on the matter now? Talk to me, Brother Junior. Jamaica and the world is listening. Uh, good night. I heard that gentleman talking a while ago about the foreign exchange. Yes. Years ago. Yes. Um, the dollar was $60 to one. 
60? 60 to 1. I can't remember that. So, it, it was so bad that if somebody gave you a US dollar, you wouldn't even want it. And then it moved from 60 to 75. And then it went from 75 to 80. And then now, I don't know if you knew about the International Monetary Fund and the arrangement that the PMP had to go into with the IMF in the 70s. We, are, we have to devalue our dollar against the U.S. dollar. So there were changes to the, I don't remember the exact exchange rate at the time, but sometime in the 80s, the value would have been 550 to 1. Saying the, so you're saying in the 80s the dollar was 50 to 1, but you said that, you, you, so was it a strategic plan to devalue the Jamaican dollar for the economic stability or benefit of other nations? Is that what you're saying that happened? Well, what actually happened is that the, the, um, the IMF arrangement that it gave the money government, they did everything to destabilize the dollar. Yes. And destabilize the economy. Yes. So, you remember your friend was talking to you a while ago? Yes. That the government used to give out, like, um, uniform, um, books. Books, yes. I know a lot of people talk about that. What right. people talk about it all the while? Good. Well, the, the IMF told Mr. Manley to stop those charities. Oh! So, what the so you're saying that Michael Manley was doing those and then the IMF was the one that told him to stop yeah, all those yeah, charities right, and you're sure about it. that? Yep. So, if you understand the history of Jamaica, what Michael did also we had just started to get money from our backside. Because when the Labour Party had Jamaica in the 60s, Buster gave the backside to the aluminum companies for free. They will not get anything. Mm -hmm. So what happened was that with the backside levy yes. coming into play in the 70s, it was about 74, I think, the backside levy came. Yes. The economy started to earn something like about $200 million per year from backside. Yeah. So that was like a dream come true. Because we never heard anything like that. So what the government did was to use the backside levy to subsidize what was paid out to education during that time. But I remember clearly that the austerity measures at the International Monetary Fund dictated that man had to get away all this, all social programs. Yes. So anything that was social, you'd have to delete it. They wanted to delete the German program. Yes. So, so who anything so that who was said, the Jamal program. Who was it that that discontinued the Jamal program, sir? <laughs> the Jamal program was discontinued by your blue-eyed friend, the Syrian one. Me and a friend with blue-eyed Syrian, you know, it's with a ball out them name. How we attack a, a Siago? Jamaica's biggest political mistake in 1980, Edward Siago. So you're saying that he's Jamaica's so, biggest political mistake. Why would you say that, Brother Julian? In 1980. Why would you say that? Because what I'm doing is that the policies that the Labour Party followed in 1980 was what helped to destroy the economy. We followed what is the, what we call the neoliberal economics, which is trickle-down economics. Yes. which never work, never will work, and never have worked. So the, 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 um, 
the Zeta GP when they came into power was about 60 percent. And when Siaka left in 89, it moved up to 262 percent. So what? And you hear, yes. No, hold well, on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. So you're saying that when Michael Manley was in office, the debt to GDP was 60%, and when Siago took over right. office and left, it was 262%. There are so much them run it up doing what? What did they do for run up the debt so much? All right. Um, you don't have to believe what I said. We can check on the IMF website. But with all the austerity that Michael went through. I remember, you may not know, but the oil prices increased on the world market in 1974, which means that your oil bill tripled. And uh, you remember I said to you about the bauxite level earlier? Yes, you told me about the bauxite the levy. The bauxite levy, right. The bauxite levy, to some extent, subsidize that, but yes. it couldn't fully help it. You understand me? Yes. So what was happening now was that the economy was running out of foreign exchange. I remember the years of Michael, we had seven striking years of sabotaging by the Labour Party and the CIA. Yes. Right? We had, we had sabotaging. So the country was not earning enough foreign exchange to pay it to be. So we had to go to the IMF for a, a loan. And then that's why, that's how we had those um, extremely harsh measures. The PMP has, in, has gotten the harshest packages from the International Monetary Fund. We got the worst. And with all that happened, the debt to GDP when Michael left in 1980 was only 60%. And with all the favorable conditions with the IMF and all the World Bank investments and IDB and everything, the Saga regime ran the debt to GDP to 262% in 1989. So let me ask a question. I have often heard people say that Michael Manley and the PNP wrecked the government, uh, uh, intimidated and in and made a lot of foreign investors because they've often said, you know, there's this documentary going around that says that it was the Michael Manley uh, government that allowed a lot of the middle income earners and the rich people and all of those top, com top companies to come out of Jamaica because I hear that we used to have Colgate, Palmolive, a whole heap of companies used to have big headquarters in Jamaica and they're saying that from Michael Manley with this so-called communist uh, 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 business, they ran out of Jamaica and the economy was down and it was Siago who, who brought back the economy and that when Siago took over, the US brought in a lot of money and KFC coming at Jamaica, then a Burger King and this and a desert thing. What say you on the matter? What say you on the matter? Because they are painting a picture that Michael Mandy wrecked the economy people couldn't get food, people couldn't get this and then Siago was the saviour. I have seen that documentary and I've heard a lot of people say that Siago was the one that helped to put Jamaica's financial recovery back on track after the Mike and Manley era. What do you have to say about that, sir? All right, let me let me answer you firstly on the um on the communist doppy yes. that you spoke about, right? Now, Sorry. when Michael came to power, there was masters and servants law on the books of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. All right? That was what we that was what was used to talk about labor in Jamaica. Yes. Masters and servants law. Yes. And that existed from slavery. You understand me? Yes. When Michael changed that, when Michael allowed education and health to be freer, right? When Michael made equal pay for women, 
you could get severance pay when they fire you. They had um what we call um well, minimum wage. We had all those labor um labor attributes are um they were disabled now. Anything that they were socialistic yes. at the time. Yes. Michael changed them in the seventies. Yes. So remember now, no. These blue eyes street here people, they went to the campions and the immaculates and the Woolmers and the K the JCs and the Georges and things. Yes. I remember. If your mother was married to your father, you couldn't go to school at Georges and JC. Allah ya tell. So Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold, on. Michael, hold on a second, my brother. Hold on. I want you to hold the point. Mm. I've often heard yeah, the term man. no bastard no day again. And it was on this program, one of the students or a couple of the students explained to me that in the earlier years, if you were born out of wedlock, what that means, if your mother and your father were not married together, you were seen as a bastard yep. child, and you would not get the full yep. benefit. Bastard. You would not get the full benefit of a, of a regular child. But you're now telling me right. that if you were a bastard, you could not uh, go to certain high schools in Jamaica. Are you talking the truth yep. about that, sir? Yep, yep. Yeah, man. Yeah, I can call them to be in Georgia's. I never knew. You can't go to Georgie's. You can't go to Georgie's if your mother married your father. But, so but, what, but listen to me. But, but, no, but, but listen to me, my brother. What, wasn't that rubbish? Because if whether your mother married your father, that doesn't determine if you have a good brain or not. Wasn't that rubbish? Praise God for Michael Manley. Praise God for Michael Manley. Mighty God. So what started to happen now was that when the, the boss, see the maid, picked me. Sad come immaculate, Walmart, KC, JC, they create problem. We are saying. You know something? That, that would make you uncomfortable when you see, and when your child come home and say, well, you know, say, maid son, I come and school with me. So, so, so the maid son, that, so, so you're saying that back then in the status quo, the maid or the helper son was not allowed to mingle with the boss's son and, be, and because Thank Michael you. Manley and he was not well, supposed well, to remember, attend though. the same school that he went to and because Michael Manley allowed it and made it possible that it doesn't matter where you come from you were allowed into school based on your brain power and your, 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 your you. academic achievements so what happened as a result now when the, when the, when the, the child of the owner goes home five, five to flights a day Five flights a day. Five flights a day. Mr. Junior, Mr. Junior, so, Mr. Junior, hold on a second. Uh -huh. So, so let me just and I want uh -huh. you to think carefully, you know, because I go and, I go and drill you right now, you know, sir. Be, I want I go and drill you. Yeah, man, no Listen to me now. So you are saying uh -huh. that back then, when it was not normal or it was not allowed for the helper's child. To mix with the landlord and the owner's child. Okay. You're saying that yeah. Michael Manley changed those laws. That everyone was allowed yeah, into a school. Hold on now. Based on the education. Yeah. And not your educational capabilities. And not based on any background. Nor any uh, uh, status or where you came out. Where you came from. Now, I ask you. What happened when... When Michael Manley changed this and allowed it, to, it uh, and allowed it for any the average person to be able to access higher education, and you are saying to me that the result of that was five flights per day. Yep. So, well, well, let me just ask you to yep. clarify. Well, let me ask you to clarify it, and I want you to answer me now. When you say five flights per day, are you saying that there were five flights flying out of Jamaica? Per day, and a lot of people went on those flights because of what Michael Manley yep. did regarding yep, education. Yep, yep, yep. Mr. Junior, yep, yep. Well, well, give me a chance now, Junior. This here is what? where the drilling come in. Mm -hmm. Suppose I told you that was not the case. Then I would make just the fuck. 
There is a documentary. There is a documentary out there that I watch. And uh -huh. the documentary did not say anything about Jimmy, about Michael Manley making with it saying that it's because of the whole politics thing and Michael Manley say who don't like it and who don't like my relationship to Cuba there are five flights which leave from, from Kingston to Miami per day you can go on it it was Michael Manley himself according to the documentary who made those comments that there are five flights and if there's anybody at that point in time who did not who, who was not in agreement with what he was doing his words were that they can take one of the five flights going out. That is what I heard on the documentary. So it's not people start doing the five flights. From what I heard, it was Michael Manley who, who echoed the words. And I quote, if you don't no, like it. No, my friend. No, my friend. But there is a no, Let me see if I can find I'm the documentary. Well, let me see if I can find the documentary. I, I, I will be. You hear me? We are talking, man. Let us see if I can find the document while they talk. Right? Because I like to have. Oh, people. sorry, man. I, I, I will be 61 yes. in April. Yes. Right? Yes. And when when I went to high school in the 70s, yes. there, was a, there was a large population of clearer, blue high street year boys. Right? Yes. And then I can tell you that a lot of them left Jamaica between 1975 to 1977. Yes. They left. Why did they leave? They were not comfortable with our darkies coming to school. Let me let me tell you something. You see, you see the banks in, in, in Jamaica? Yes. When you went to the Barclays banks, that became NCB. I went into the lowest quarter banks. Yes. The persons that work inside those banks as tellers, were either Chinese, Arab, Syrian, the saint. Yes. Anytime I saw a nigga inside the bank, they must be the janitor. Right? Okay. And when the changes started to take place, where black people start to work in these places, when niggers, let me call them so, started to come to the traditional high school in Jamaica, yes. the original person that were there were not comfortable. Yes. And that's why the argument started that they were the five for that. If you want to, if you take them. Hold on a second. Hold on a well, second. I don't know. I want to play the excerpt from, from, from the documentary, you know. I want to play because I, mm -hmm. this is how I go to work, you know. Hold on. You say now, why are we taking this risk to anger the United States of America? And the answer is this. We are not angering the United States of America. They are angering themselves. We have that friendship with Cuba as part of a world alliance of third world nations that are fighting for justice for poor people in the world. And I tell you as the party leader, as long as this party is in power, we intend to walk through the world on our feet and not on our knees. The papers, you know, the paper theory in terms of aid. But Michael was very clear that, you know, it's certain things you just have to take a stand on. Very firm on that. At home, Manly's socialist dream has become a middle-class nightmare. If you don't like it, Manly told them, there are five flights a day to Miami. In the months that followed... You hear that? You hear what the documentary said? It's a Michael's socialist yeah. dream became a problem for some. And him said, if you don't like it, there are Five flights a day. Let me repeat that part of the film. Well, on the junior, I don't know if you could hear it. I wish yeah, man, was hear that. No. But well, on, I have to play it back again to somebody else can hear. Students, I want you to listen mm. to what to what they're saying. I see some people saying it's propaganda. They were putting. I want you to tell me, my viewers and subscribers, now you hear the audio because I saw me go over a topic in a junior. My life will back up my yeah, facts. Man, you know? yeah, man. Like that. So well, I want that people too. to tell me, and I and it's and it's you now to rebut the argument and tell me, say boy, I know saw it go. Remember, students, I wanted to listen to the documentary one more time. Me go play about one minute of the documentary. I you go hear what Michael Mann is about the five flights per day. Listen carefully again where we're coming from. Listen. In the world, you say now, why are we 
taking this risk to anger the United States of America? And the answer is this, we are not angering the United States of America, they are angering themselves. They are not going to tell me what relationship I have with Fidel Castro. We have that friendship with Cuba as part of a world alliance of third world nations that are fighting for justice for poor people in the world. And I tell you as the party leader, as long as this party is in power, we intend to walk through the world on our feet and not on our knees. We paid for it, you know, we paid for it there in terms of aid. But Michael was very clear that, you know, it's certain things you just have to take a stand down. Very firm on that. At home, Manly's socialist dream had become a middle class nightmare. If you don't like it, Manly told them, there are five flights a day to Miami. In the months that followed, thousands took his advice. Planes were packed with Jamaica's middle classes, taking their money with them. When the first serious attempt at change was made, as all you hear that, my brother? You hear that? You hear? You hear what yeah, this documentary was saying was the reason for that? Now you yep. can proceed on the argument. All right. Um. You ever heard about Henry Kissinger? Yeah, I'm very, I'm very familiar with Henry Kissinger and and his role. Very familiar with Henry Kissinger. All right. Now. In my days, we used to call him the devil. Yes. Right? Now, what Kissinger wanted to, wanted Michael to do, right? Yes. He came to Jamaica, and what he wanted Michael to do was so Condemn. alienate what, you know, Cuba. What? What he wanted was that well, Michael to for to 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 ask Fidel to condemn because I hear they were putting some bombs or some kind of rockets or grenades or something in South Africa somewhere there about and and because it was communism and Michael was friend with Fidel they, he in he Kissinger according to documentary was telling Michael to tell Fidel Castro say not to do that. And Michael has said, no, but me can't tell Fidel that to do that. But they must say, you have a relationship with him. And they must say, my relationship with him, I no, don't know no, what to do with it. What no, to do with no, it. no, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Yes. That's wrong. And like, no, what that what is. Happened was, what happened was, was um, South Africa was going to invade Angola. Yes. South Africa was was spreading their apartheid policies in Angola. Soweto, Angola. From the area to okay. South Africa and Angola, I know you have the facts. From I hear you mention those two countries, I know you have the right. facts. Please continue with it. So, so what happened was this, was that when, when the South Africans wanted to invade Angola, the Angolans went to England for help. Tata yes. said no. Yes. When the Angolans went to America for help, Reagan said no. Yes. When the Angolans went to Fidel, he said he would help. Yes. So what happened was that the, the Cubans sent a hundred thousand military men don't just wait to the fight the South Africans. That's yes. what happened. So what Kissinger came to Jamaica to do was to ask Michael to talk not to support the 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 um, the invasion of Angola on the United Nations floor. Yes. So Jamaica was not to vote for or in favor of the invasion. Yes. That's why Michael said he will walk through the world on his feet and not on his knees. I remember that speech. I remember that then speech. Said, right. So when 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 Michael came now and Michael went to the Geneva Convention on the same plane with Fred Castro, yes. the whole the propaganda in Jamaica started. No remember, you know. When the cleaner carries certain type of headline, everybody go and believe it. Yes. So, so what, what, what was going on in Jamaica you know, at the time? We had a private sector organization in Jamaica 
what we call the privileged sons of Jamaica. Those criminals. Yes. Where the Jamaica Manufacturers Association. Yes. Where the JEA. Where the Jamaica Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Where the Bankers Association. We are the hoteliers. All these persons were against Michael Mandino. Okay, I see. All these organizations were against Michael Mandino. Plus the press, we are the John Hurds, the Morris Cargills, the Morty Perkins, all these elements were against Michael Mandino. So whatever the propaganda you are going to hear on those documentaries were documentaries that were created by Morris Cargill, Wow. You understand what I say? So if what Mars can eh, anybody that hate my camera, you can you can love the person. You can't be somebody good. Just think about it. If somebody hate my camera, the person can't be good because Michael does things with poor people in Jamaica and the world. You know, you know you said Michael was not old. You know you said something right? earlier on June. Remember? Hold on a second. You know you uh-huh. said something a while ago uh-huh. while you were explaining. And you were saying that's not so. Michael didn't say that. And you know, I was perusing the comments and looking through, and I was listening to what the students were saying and compare it to what you're saying. And you know, I've come to the conclusion that because I have not seen it, I've watched the documentary a number of times, but I hear them say, Michael Manley say that there are five flights, and if you don't like it, you can't take the pay. But I never hear Michael Manley say it out of mouth himself. I never hear Michael no. say it. So, so you, so I, no. so I am pulling to the side that you're saying that is these people was spreading the propaganda. Come and never hear Michael yeah. Mandy say the time out. Say five flights, you don't like it. Go and go take the flights. Um, I never hear him say it. You see, Aaron, let me, a lot of people who are around now can remember, right? Yes. No. when Michael was prime minister, right? Yes. He came in 1972. I was born in 1963. Yes. So I would have been around nine Nine years years old when he became prime minister. That's right, nine years old. So now, right. So remember now, I will be the little boy that mommy sent to the shop. That's right. So I would know what go on the shop. So when them said when I going, my mother sent me to buy bread, and them and them tell me say the bread of the marriage. Right? The bread of the mark. We have buy sugar, the sugar of the mark. And then now after you now you can't get sardine, you can't get corned beef, Mm-mm. you can't get tin milk, you can't get nothing. Right? Yeah. And then the reason why they do that now was so create a shortage artificially to put pressure on the government. So, so and then now the Judah. morning Hold of on. the election, Hold you on. find the people might do the same thing them what them say they may have. Hold on a second, Junior. So, you know, it was sabotage. I have to pause it there. I have to pause it there. So you're mm-hmm. saying that in the 1980s, the food shortage, mm-hmm. the 70s, the food shortage mm-hmm. that people were experiencing, you're saying that it was artificially manufactured because there was no natural food shortage. It was word given by the government of the day and the people, nearly Edward Siago and his people, to deliberately yep. sabotage the Jamaican people and yep. force them mm. to turn their back mm. against Michael Manley and to put him under pressure. That's exactly mm. what you're saying it was. It was a deliberate sabotage artificial yep. thing in a real yep. mm. and you say after the election I, and, and you say after the, the election sabotaging came in different ways you know there was a journalist sabotaging there was the economic sabotaging. Yes. There was the multinational sabotaging. Yes. I remember you know, when when Michael when when Kissinger came to Jamaica you know, to ask Michael not to um to go and vote with Cuba, you know. Yes. A hundred million dollars dry up, you know. There was money that the government was supposed to get from the World Bank, you know. Yes. And the money immediately dried up. 
That is economic sabotage. Yes, yes. So, a lot of people say this and say that, but they don't know what Michael went through in the 70s. May I, may I interject? May I interject? My, I remember yeah, listening yeah, to man, Michael. Yeah, I remember listening to Michael Manley, and he made the speech word for word. And in his voice, he said that they tried to sabotage the tourism sector. He said, and I quote, and if there's anybody who watched the documentary, and this part stick out uh -huh. here when Michael Manley was talking, you'll remember. He said, and I quote, this is Michael Manley talking now. He said, yeah, it, man. it would have been known that some international journalist was coming from overseas to spend some time at a villa in Ocho Rios. And, um, That's a fact. And, and, and mysteriously, on the very first night when he appeared, men w went there and fired shots and, 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 and intimidated him and made the man very scared. And Michael Mann said, the next man in the man flag, remember, so one big international journalist, you know, how oh, people know, say, mm -hmm. the journalist was coming to that location for go target him and torment him. And them do it for two. And what Michael Mann is saying was mm -hmm. that when the journalist fly go off for him, the man said, must say 27 or 54 newspapers pick up the story. And immediately after that, booking cancellation went left, right, and center. And I saw him say the tourism sector start going down. And that was plain evidence that it was an act of sabotage. That alone, proceed, June. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Teacher, yes. just follow the line for one minute, right? Go ahead. There was an election there, day, right? Yes, sir. In Jamaica, the local government election, all right? Yes, sir. Try to remember the narrative. Try to remember the narrative. You ever heard the Labour Party boast about them previous prime ministers? No, absolutely not. Remain the issue. Remain the issue over here. Never. Why? I don't know. If they're not proud of their track record. I don't know if when they... are not good. Them no good. Let, 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 no, let, me, not good. let me step into something deeper. Let me step into something deeper. Mm. Could it be... That if they bring up their former leaders, people will remember the wickedness that their former leaders have done. And as such, they try to not to bring them up as to regurgitate certain memories. I think that's why they don't hear them talk about Siago, you know. Because if they bring up Siago people that say, oh, Siago wicked, I want to talk about him. But so, you understand what I mean, my brother? Spot on. Spot on. All right. Uh, uh, you, you know... One of the things that hurt me yeah. personally, tell me, personally hurt me, is to spend a two thousand dollar note. It hurt me. With Michael and Siaga, can you money? imagine you put? Can you imagine you put Edward Siaga and the same one with Michael Manley? Who are different? Who are different in ideas? Who are not? Who are different in ideas and philosophies? Completely opposed to each other. It should never have happened. Never. Anybody who conceived of that should be charged with treason. You see, anybody who conceived of that. They should charge them for treason. That plot alone shows you that you have some people in society who have some ulterior motives. Because only a person with ulterior motives would put both of those two men, who I would say enemies in some state in, 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 in some instances, and different in their in, in their view and, and their beliefs what? for the Jamaican people. Anybody who does not have ulterior motives, a sick, dirty, nasty person do that. Do you ever tell your brother? No, well, but I, you, you know how I, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine about it, right? Mm -hmm. I know what I believe. Tell me. Because them know that Siaga is a demon. Them try to, try to glorify him, mortify him, make him look like somebody. So then put him with my car. Because you can imagine you put Siaga with, with Manly. The, the other thing, too, 
I think I heard it on one of the program I heard it today. Where the name the North South Highway after Siaga. Can you imagine? Somebody who opposed the highway, somebody what if they depose the highway? Yeah, yeah Siaga saved me some money. Him say it is a waste of money, them should spend the money on the rest of the road. Them. I remember the, 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 the money for the highway, you know, and, and, and the Chinese money, you know. So, you know, say, you couldn't create a loan and, and just spend the money how oh, you want to spend it. Yes. You have to create a loan and spend the money because that, the way oh, you borrowed money. Yes. I am specifically what you borrowed money for. You understand me? Yes. So when they um when they when they put Siaga's name on the money on the on the highway, there was a card not seen. Because I remember the man the man said a waste of time. You understand me? And and it's because Andrew get the opportunity to change it. That's why uh me and my brother, that's why I mean top the Siaga. That is a slap in the face. Slap in the face. It should have never happened. Never have happened. Well, I say no. You, know, you think about certain things that you remember certain things that you wonder why? You know, Harry. I mean, Shaka might be his, you know, in, in clean person, right? Mm -hmm. But you can't just go around and try to ram the money to people who. And everybody accepts him, you know. That's right. Because you, you, you drop on all the way to make a run cast kids with nobody in there. Yes. And, and carry go marry you to a um, evil circle. Why? If they're going to be in Jamaica, love Siaga, why can't nobody see him? You, you understand what I say? So, so, what I'm saying? So, so. So you find it some questionable that he was not shown? Are you alluding that that are you me could you be hinting that he was not buried in Jamaica? I don't think he was in that casket. I don't think he was in the casket. I don't think so. And and, and because the first thing he casket was closed. But let me ask a question. If the very casket was mm -hmm. would you have a slight suggestion of where he would have been if he wasn't in the casket? In my very same place in the States, America, I come from, you know. I'm not from Jamaica, by birth. What are well, the students? What well, are the students? What well, are the students? Lord Jesus. Junior, you know, so you just eat one oh, party yeah. cup nail a while ago and me hear the nail, the nail go bang, bang. Students, me go ask you for pause for a moment. The Lord Jesus, Junior, I don't know why you do it to them. Your eyes, them, you can't see but your brain see everything for you, my brother. You can't see out of your eye then, but your brain see everything for you. Your brain sharp like a whistle, you know? Students, listen to me Hi. now. Junior is suggesting to us to look at this line of argument. He's saying that the former prime minister, he was not shown in the casting. Nobody saw and confirmed that it was him. And as such, it leaves us to beg to question if he was really buried here or if he was buried abroad where he's originally from. And Junior, let me ask you a question. Now, can you imagine uh -huh. if revelations were to reveal that he was buried in America but yet still, they brought the empty coffin and buried it. Which part did he bury? Which part did he bury? Vice, um, he was a circle. So, see, see, I got... We didn't bury our prime minister. I said, our prime minister is a hero. Buried in the coffin. Remember? But, Junior, Lord Jesus, some of the people must have them hear the argument before, you know, Junior. The first, me I hear it and as you talk, you know, Junior, my, my cobweb, mm -hmm. them just start put and put, you know, like a Nancy web and the web, them just connect. Me just start see the web in front of me, Junior. Mm -hmm. The argument, the sound plus, let me tell you why, Junior. Me go tell you one little secret, Junior. Mm -hmm. You are my friend. Listen to me, let me tell you something, Junior. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's any truth to the argument, 
But there are teeth and tongue, Junior, which have said this. Listen to me. I won't even ask you if you know this person because everybody knows or have heard about this person, Kevin Smith, who died in the accident. Pastor Kevin Smith. The allegations are, are as follows. One policeman died or two policemen. I don't sure if it's two, but we're going to focus on one. They said two policemen was in the car with Kevin Smith or three or how much. But they said one of them died, Junior. I was listening to Andre Stevens' program the night. And as much as I do business about Andre Stevens' producer and I do to in the producer, I remember specifically when the producer, Andre, was talking and somebody had said, it looks suspicious, oh, the policeman dead, and they never show him. And I remember the producer, Andre, producer, I'm not call out his name, the one-time producer, no turn enemy. He said... That the funeral looked very eerie for the policeman that died with in, in the Kevin Smith incident. He said it looked so eerie. The funeral looked away. And when him says, so, brother, oh. me left the program and I find the policeman funeral where them said dead in a Kevin Smith business. And you see, when I look at oh. that funeral, the casting no open no time at all. The baby mother that look like she a ball for somebody were dead. One of the uh -huh. aunties she we are taught that look like nobody there look as if they were grieving. And it will bring a red flag to me. Red flag. I, you know, say look a bit from these people said the policeman were dead. With them with them bury. When nobody not in a casting. People said the policeman get different identity than, than they are foreign. You know that, Junior? Well, you can't, you know, can't remember, no, no. If you want to create a situation, you can create it. Because the first thing, you think about it, right? Remember, say, this man is not a, uh, let me say, violent criminal, right? Yes. And it's not a violent criminal where you want, like, 30 armed guards to carry. Yes. Right? But think about it. You carry now. A convict from Montego Bay to uh, Kingston. You're going to just put two cars on the road, so no. a, a, a mark car and a handmark car, and then you going you going to send the car them to drive through, to drive from come down more Rasa, come to Yorkton, come to Lincoln, come on the bypass, and then cross the road and turn through Robert to the road. And guess what? There was no need to bring him to Kingston to charge him. They could have charged him and mob here. Yeah, let me say so. So once you see something like that, you know, when you say, say some hunky bunky play. That is it, Junior, because they, they well, never had any well, need to well, bring well, they never well, had any need to bring him. Remember Kingston. now tell you know, when this man was having a party in Montego Bay, I'll pull his black road for the man got you, you know. Oh, the man, yes, my man is man like a king in a movie, you know. I saw it. I saw the video. But listen to me now, my brother. And just as how, mm -hmm. because listen to me, my brother. The quickest mm -hmm. way to rubbish an argument about the death of someone and to lay all mm -hmm. argument asunder is to show the corpse laying. Oh, the, mm -hmm. Is to show the corpse laying in the casting, right? Mm -hmm. That very same corpse mm -hmm. laying in the casting. In both cases, in the policeman case, we didn't see no policeman in the casting. In Kevin Smith case, we didn't see Kevin Smith in no casting. So I am very suspicious of these funerals where you can't see the people in the casting. Me very suspicious, and you raise a point, and it and the, and the points tick me for true. Could it be? So, uh, could it oh, be oh, that oh, Siago? Oh, yeah. well, well, let me finish. Could it be that Siago really uh, don't bury a Jamaica? Could it be that it's an empty what? casket? Them go bury up a national hero circle for make people think so him. But his body was privately shipped off to the U.S. And buried in yeah, a U.S. cemetery with, yeah. with his private Remember family. Remember, say he died family. abroad, you know. Remember, say he died abroad, you know. Oh, so, so the body come and me. Oh, I get abroad. you. 
I get you. So you say he died abroad, so they could have just sent the cast uh -huh. to Jamaica. Nobody yeah. never seen body. Uh, and one come next. They just, right. they just, right. they just when, did the same when I was, duties. When I was, when I was growing up, right? My mother told me something that when Sansa left Jamaica, he was dead. When I sent Sansa to Montreal, he was a dead man. Oh, we are, sir. So, as I said to you last, last night or the night before, that there was a lot of suspicion about his death. Wait, all right. Remember, no, no. Sansa became Prime Minister just after the 1968 general election, right? I yes. remember the month. And I don't think him last three months yes. before him dead. I think it was a budget he was preparing. <coughs> I think it yes. was a budget he was preparing. Because he was also Minister of Finance. Yes. Right? And him died. Him take sick and him just dead. But this is what I hear. I hear that when them say him go away, he was, he was dead before. But the thing about his body was that when his body came back to Jamaica, it came all over Jamaica so people could see it and know exactly his who. So there was an open yeah, casket? No, so there was an open casket yeah, man, you could identify? Yeah, man, was I, was, I was told you could see the casket. All right, hold on a second. You could see it. in it. Hold That's on, what I was told. Do. I'm going to ask you to hold the, the, the point because I'm going to be putting up a poll about this. I want to hear what the people have to say. Let me wrap up my previous poll. Hold your mm. point, Junior. Stick your point for a second. In the previous uh, poll, I asked a question. What should be the punishment for a police officer who turns off their body cam? Let me give you the results of the poll and let me move on into the next topic we're going to be discussing. So right here, the results are as follows. Uh, when I asked you the question, what should be the punishment for a police officer who turns off their body cam? 30%, 34% of respondents, and I want you to listen to it because this is a very close poll, you know. 34% of respondents says they should be suspended without pay. 33, 33% says that they should be fired from the force. And then 32% says that they should be sent to prison. So there's a 1% different. You hear that, Junior? There's a 1% different answers. So it is very close to people who responded here because in a some poll, you would have one answer overwhelming in a leading percent than the mm -hmm. other. They're neck and neck where the percentage is concerned. But the overall... Let me say, people, people thinking. Yes, yes, people are people thinking. thinking. But, the, mm -hmm. but, the, but the general consensus, based on what I have here, mm -hmm. is that the majority of people by 1% is saying that once a police mm -hmm. turn off his or her device, they should be suspended uh -huh. without pay. So that's what most people say. Uh -huh. Now, I'm going to be putting up a poll yeah, based on what we're discussing now, Brother Junior. And I'm asking people the question, do you think that Edward Siaga's body was buried in Jamaica? Yes or no? Students... The next poll I'm putting up right you can, now... You can't you can put, can put up my... I don't think he was buried here. All right, remember, so remember, you remember can't vote stop you. with me. Remember vote for Junior <laughs> right here, so no. So the question <laughs> I'm asking my viewers and subscribers on the poll is, do you think that Edward Siaga's body was buried in Jamaica? Please participate in the poll by clicking yes or no. Please participate in the poll by clicking yes or no. Junior, you are about to make a point when I ask you to hold on. You remember the point you were about to make? I know, I know, I don't know. Anyway, um, one, one thing before I forget, I was trying to call her earlier today. Yes. Um, on Sunday, what you say you're planning to do? I'm going to be having a, 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 a 70s, 80s, 90s roundup. So maybe I'll start the class, maybe about 8 o'clock, I will run till about 1, 2 o'clock or thereabouts. Okay. You know, Michael will be 100 this year. Oh, Michael, he was alive. 100 this year if he was alive. I never know that. 100. Yep, yep. All right, my brother. He was born on the 10th of 
December 1924. Okay, my brother. Okay, my brother. They would have been a hundred years. Well, all right, my brother. I don't know if I'm the plan to do a, a documentary on him. I don't know if we have a conversation and you continue to remind me. Perhaps, maybe. That would be good. I think, I, I think that would be good. I think, I think, um, before I go, I think you make a pretty you need to seven? know about the manly years. Yes. And he said, no, and he said, no, the truth about the PMP years. Yes. And he said, no, the truth about the 90s. Yes. What I want, I also want you to do some homework. Yes. I want you to find out the true Minister of Finance of Jamaica, the true Minister of Finance of this country. But Wolan the Junior. Because Wolan Junior. But Wolan. Uh -huh. But me is the teacher. Are you come in a my class? Are you give me homework? Yeah, man, you old man for you. Yeah, old man for me. Well, well, all right. Yeah, I'm a general, so you, you have all permission for bad luck. Yeah. Use my history teacher. Yeah. Use my history professor. Yeah, man, you man, you man. Use my history right. professor. So why, no problem. Why, I, I, was, why, I, was, I, I said, want hold on, to hold on, hold on, hold on. I said it jokingly. You're my yeah. history professor, so no problem. Yeah, man, no you problem. Man. You know married. You know what's married. You yes, man. Man. Like, we, we all have your own joke. That's right. Um... You remember earlier when you said that there's a lot of narrative out there about the this the, the Labour Party years? Yes. Right. The reason why I, I want you to look at it is that you can you can see, I can see. And I don't want to tell you the figures and what happened. I want you to do the homework. You can talk to Head boy and head girl and the class prefect that was on. Yes, Con Conrad. Conrad, that's right. Yes, yes, right. And well, let me give you some assistance. Yes. Because there's a wrong narrative going around Jamaica, fooling people about the fin sack and this and that, and nobody don't want to remember SSL. Because SSL was also a member, SSL also benefit from FinSAC. They changed their name Thank to you. SSL Entity. I am very familiar with that, Junior. So when I hear Devon talking about Mark Golden, say I have some people who benefited from the FinSAC years. Word for word, I tell him what I'm saying, Devon. You have some people out Devon. here in society who benefit from the FinSAC years. And now they coming and talking about like their investment gurus and Mark Golden. They might word panino from Mark Golden yeah, and DB and Gino. And that might try word panino. But but in the same and, breath, and, and the guy and the guy from Berita. Berita. But two people. But in the same yeah. breath. But, he, but uh, in the same breath, uh, he's not getting that SS smell also benefited under the days. I think it was Paul Chen Young that they, they were trading at that point in time. Yeah, man, but I can give you a better joke. Yes. Have you ever heard of a place by the name of Carinosa? Is it with a C or a T? Is it Cari or Tari? C. Tari. Edward Siaga, Garden of Eden. No, I've, I've never heard of that name before. I've never. Have you ever heard that a Prime Minister of Jamaica borrowed $22 million? And suffered from amnesia. Oh, that was a whole issue with Edward Siago. A gentleman raised the point here, but he didn't right. get to how much money that was. Right. Borrowed. 22 million. And he was oblivious. My dear, the subscribers, I just want right. to say, we have to give our brother Junior a round of applause because all along I've been hearing that Siago borrowed money, borrowed money, take money and never pay it back. And I applaud you, Junior, for... Enlightening my darkness and the darkness of my other classmates Century. and informing me. I want to thank you for enlightening our darkness and bringing it to our attention that it was indeed 22 million because all along me I hear same tech money and I never hear nobody mention how much money. Me never hear him mention no 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 mo, no mo, no money. And you're the person The bank was century. The bank was century national bank. Yes. 
Century National Bank. Well, you know, it's so ironic. Why is it that the government don't want to table the Fincher report? You think about it. They spend a hundred and fifty million dollars to print the report. They had a commission of inquiry. Yeah. Why they can't release the report? That's right. Think about it. They have something to hide. They have something to hide. That's the only reason something in there that something in there that which shed some bad light under them and them and they don't want that. That's the only reason someone would would, would wait in that report or they're trying to protect someone. Is either they're hiding the report to protect yeah. themselves or protecting someone. Hold on a second, uh, hold on a second, Junior. The students in the in the comments they really love you, you know, Junior. I said Tread White said, Yo, Junior, you're great. Yes. Holy pa people in the comments are talking. Lenny Hines said Carinosa Gardens in Ocho Rios. Rosalie said Carinosa Gardens yeah. owned by Siaga. So the students yeah. in the, in the okay. class. Yep. They know about it, Junior. And and they're 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 they're, yep. they're confirming what you're saying. And the wealth of knowledge that you are displaying right. to us. Proceed, Junior. There was, there was another one too that you need to remember. You, 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 have you ever heard that we had a minister of finance that could even run a gas station? Mm -mm. We appointed somebody as minister of finance. And them can't run the gas station where them had. Uh, who that they know? Uh, 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 which Minister of Finance? Are they, is that is a recent Minister of Finance or a previous Minister of Finance? Uh, recent, recent. Oh. One gas station. The man that come from the yard. Oh, oh, oh. The man that come from the yard. Oh, all right. From down in the yeah, clarity. the man that come from the... From down at the clarity. Yeah, the man that... The man, the, the, man the, other side, the other one. The man to the church. The man, the man parish. Yes. The man parish. Manchester. I mean, what we are talking man, man, are you yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, man. You must say, him have a gas station or run into receivership too. With some I see him money, you know. From, from Finsa? You see, the, yeah, man. You see, the, the thing about Finsa, you know, was that Finsa was not the problem, you know. Mm -hmm. Prince Zach was the solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. Wow. When, when a lot of these people created their own nightmare, because they borrow money at extremely high interest rates and do what they want with the money and never pay back the money. And when they're supposed to pay back the money, the money don't make no money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, may invest, they made bad investments bad decisions now we have to pay for it yes. 145 billion dollars yes that's what the government has to fork out yes and let me let me get a little joke now before we run with junior hold on i would really with love to say junior, junior hold on hold on junior I just want to see, I'll see Shining Star, my moderator, just coming at the class. Big up Shining Star, big up all of the students, big up Calligraphy, my moderator, all of the students that are on the class at this hour of the morning. Blessings to you. Now, Junior, I really would have wanted mm -hmm. to spend a lot more time with you, but because time is against yeah, us. Man. I will on a second now, because time is against us, I'm just going to ask you to take a minute and wrap up because I have one, I have about four other lessons that I have to put to the students, but I'm just only, only going to bring them the major one where mode piece are cost out the labor rights. And I have to get to that tonight. So I'm just going to ask in the interest of time, just take one minute and wrap up the story. Yeah, man, no problem. And then on Sunday, I can give you a half an hour to fix them business, all right? Yeah, man, no yes. problem. All right, so just take a as, minute. As I, was, as, as I was saying earlier, with all the problems at the 90s, yes. the only time the Jamaican economy grew yes. was in 1998. Yeah. When it grew by 3%. Yeah. And in 1998, with all the problems we had, yeah. we got rid of the International Monetary Fund. Yes. And we paid back all the money we owe them. The PNP did that. And we never had to go back. Thank you. And we never had to go back into an agreement until 2008. Well, I'm trying to remember who was the Minister of Finance during all the prices. Sorry to interrupt you, Junior, but I'm going to ask you to repeat that. Students, I want you to listen to this, what Junior is saying, because this is 
very credible and crucial information because they're saying that PNP never do nothing. And Juna is making it clear to us that the PNP was the person that paid off the IMF in 1998. Junior, can you repeat what you said and just continue what, what, on, on, on the topic that you were before you were wrapping up? Repeat the statement that you were making yeah. again. With all the problems at the 90s with the financial meltdown, Omar Davis was the only minister of finance that passed tests from the IMF, tests were given to this country. He passed the test and he was the first Minister of Finance and the only Minister of Finance to pay up all the Jamaica out to the International Monetary Fund with all the problems that took place in the economy during the 90s. Yeah. And he is the largest grower of this economy by 3%. Oh Nobody else has achieved that. Omar so don't be fooled by Nigel Clark. Omar did that. Don't be fooled. That. Omar did that. Run with it. When you hear that, my viewers and subscribers, so when Devon attacks a PNP, do it some P. Me never know a PNP, PF, PF, IMF, Omar Davis, PF, INF, and, and it was the JLP that got the IMF. PF, IMF, 98. That's what I said to you earlier. Go and get the information from the IMF website and get the information and let the students know. Educate the people of Jamaica and let them know the best thing that has ever happened for Jamaica is the PNP. The best, the best, and always the best. Wow. And just look at the history of Jamaica and look at the PNP. Every time the PNP is in power, the PNP can talk about their prime ministers and the Labour Party can't do it. Why? Junior, Most their reason. Junior. Junior. They must be reason. Junior. Mm -hmm. As you attack, something come before me. You want to hear what come mm -hmm. before me and what come in a topic brain. Let me show you how a topic think. Mm -hmm. Before you see, as you talk about that, a speech come before me. And I'm going to paraphrase just part of the speech by oh, by your best friend, Devon, your best friend. He said that there is only one government that has been known to grow in the economy. And it's the Jamaica Labour Party. You remember hearing Devon say that I played over here. I played over here. I played over here. All right. All right. <laughs> remember, remember that when it came to power in 26, Seeing they said they will grow the economy by five percent in four years. I remember that. You remember? I remember that. And they went around and they both and tell her what that they will grow the economy by five percent in four years. Big failure. At the end of that, what happened? You must say it was a delusion. Big failure. Big so let me ask you a question, Junior, because you're spitting some credible facts. Why is it that the PNP is not pushing these? Because the PNP basically beyond what you're saying, the PNP have enough evidence to whip them backside and whip them skin enough. So it is for the PNP now to make them know say hello, no man I lie when I tell man. It is for the PNP because they never know that the problem let me tell you what the problem let me tell you the PMP has, the problem the PMP has. Whenever the PMP says anything, yes. it makes the 6 o'clock news. It don't make the 7 o'clock news. So anything what the PMP says, you hear it on the 6 o'clock news in the morning, yes. after the rest of the day, don't hear it. And anything that the Labour Party says, or next week, you hear it again. So you say the media is biased. So media anything is biased. Well, I, 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 I don't want to use that nice word. But I, t I, I listen to every news in Jamaica. And I observe what the major news networks do. Yes. Hardly anybody listens to the 6 o'clock news. And most people listen to the 7 and 12. Yes. Yes. The answer is true. Yes. So... When, when you listen to the 6 o'clock news and you hear what the leader of the opposition said or you heard what somebody from one of the spokespersons said 
And you say, what? PMP attack, man. By 7 o'clock now, you don't hear it. Yes. I don't hear it 12. Mm -mm. Because remember, 12, no, sorry, 7, 12, and 5. And 7 o'clock in the night is when everybody are listening to news. Yes. So they have a better audience at that time. But right. at 6 o'clock, they don't have any audience. Yes. So they give it the six. They make the PMP make the six o'clock news, and it can't be no more news for a day. So basically, what you're saying, you understand me? So that is a problem. So you're saying it's a deliberate attack. Uh, it's a deliberate attempt by the powers that be to silence to, the to PMP. Mute them. Yes. To mute them. Yes. Just uh, if you look at the if you look at the walkout yesterday. All right, sorry, the Tuesday. If you look at the walkout Tuesday, right? It was a brilliant move by the Labour Party, you know. Tell us why. Just continue to talk. Tell tell the people why, June. Tell them. Let, let, let me tell, tell you why, right? They organized Andrew play chess now. And Andrew don't have any morals. He don't have no morals. So he no care what you will think about him when he walk out. The objective was not to make the people hear what Mark Golden was about to say and what he had said before. So you control the narrative. You control the narrative. So everybody was be talking about how him walk out and everybody was talking how the PMP we had a arrangement and then they never had any problem with him wife. Oh, all of a sudden, them had problems now because they are misogynist or this, that, and blah, blah, and control the narratives. You understand, Trick? You understand, Trick? So, if you, if you can do what you do, you don't care or nobody think you don't care when the body feel about your action because the ends justify the means i get you yes yes right so everybody, everybody if, if you notice what you were talking about the other night you were talking that the pmp should have made better arrangements before yes because that is what they want us to do you understand the trick? I know that guy like I him in my soul now. I can read him like a book, you know. Yes. Him want to control the narrative. Yes. So what you have to do now is talk about SSL, talk about the criminal six, talk about him three because it's not two again now. It's three structural reductions that have not been Accepted yes. by the integrity commission. All right, my brother. Jude. Right. All right. We're gonna wrap it up. Now. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna wrap it up. Now, All right. Junior. All right. We're gonna wrap it up. Yeah, man. We're gonna wrap it up. Yeah, man. Yeah, we talk about. Yeah, man. But before I make so, a leave, we talk Junior, again. Before I make a leave, Junior. Mm -hmm. Before I make a leave, I want to say it has been my pleasure having you here. I said to you that you yeah, know, man. I, I like talking to you because you know your brain is firing. You understand? And it just goes to show that people yeah, out there no with problem. this. Well, it just goes to show that people out there with disability are qualified and competent. You understand? If you just give them a chance, because the, the argument that you're having here, you know, you're like a, a historian to us, you know. You're like a history professor to us, you know. And you're talking the things and the students are agreeing with what you say. Let me just tell you a few things that the students are saying. Right here, current currency mm -hmm. saying, Mr. Junior is a very smart man. Gary Mosley say he is right. You understand? Noel uh, Williams is saying those are facts, teacher. Well, somebody say, hold on a second. I see somebody else right here. Sister D. Ruben said, Junior, you're bright for real. No use that. Nice. I would agree. Big up yourself. Janet Jones said, me love Junior. You're very astute. The people them love you, Junior. Them love and appreciate you, my brother. So yeah, pick up yourself and yeah, chosen, I appreciate that chosen, too. chosen. But you know, I appreciate that. But you, you, you know, want to ensure everybody. Yes. Do? Yes. In new my race and vote. Yes. 
in numerate and yes. vote. Well said. That's what we're going to talk about one of them nights when we are around. All right. You have to enumerate and you have to vote. Now listen to me now. The only come and listen. Yes. Vote. What you need to do is to start structure your argument. So when you get your time Sunday, if you get your half an hour, you just fix your argument or in your half an hour so you can tell us everything that you yeah, want man, to tell no us problem. in your half an no hour. Problem. No right. problem, Blessings to you, Junior. Blessings. Take care, my brother. Yeah, man, Somebody no say thank you, Junior. Yeah, man, take it easy. We'll link up. Blessings, blessings. Yes, my uh, brother. So yeah, man, cool, cool, All right. cool. That was Junior, our impaired brother. He's impaired, but I tell us that he, him thinking better than the Prime Minister. Junior is visually impaired, but he's thinking way smarter than the big nose Prime Minister and the, the Finance Minister. Big up yourself, Junior. My brother, subscribers, please remember that if you're enjoying the program, you can go ahead and bless up the program. My viewers are subscribers. You can send something into the Zell. The Zell is 347-234-9320. The name on the Zell is Kayan. And you can bless up the Cash App. You can send a tender line in the Cash App. The Cash App is dollar sign Jamaica Hot Topic. I realized two people sent me something in the Cash App a while ago. And I have to bless them up. Hold on. I want to bless up Victor Williams. Victor Williams, thank you for the $10. Cash up, thank you for the $10. Chanel 10 Hue, thank you so much for the $20. Chanel 10 Hue, thank you so much. Albert, send me $10 yesterday. Blessings to you, Albert. Big up yourself. Janice Malcolm, send me about ten, uh, $20 two days ago. Big up Janice Malcolm. Blessings to all the students. Them students, you know, for bless up. I tap it, you know. You know for bless up, I tap it because, you know, if you come over here, I appreciate everything. From here, have a look at thing, you can support a topic, man. Send a look at thing in the thing and bless up a topic, make a topic feel nice, you know. Buy a look at thing and pay one few and few bill, you know what I mean. And can go no class and nice and educational and informative. My brother subscribers, we're going to go into possibly the hottest, hottest part of the class, you know. So we save the best for last. Shining star and all of the people and where they are England. We're just coming at the class. When you coming at the class, when the class are gone nice. On your screen is Mr. Mouthpiece. Look for Mouthpiece. You see, Mouth... All right, my viewers and subscribers, what is Mouthpiece doing on your, scre on your screen right now? I want you to type in the comments because the class is going to get excited, I know, you know. I want you to type in the comments and, and write one word that describes what Mouthpiece is doing. When you look at Mouthpiece, face, what word comes to your mind? What is he doing? What what emotion are you seeing on mouthpiece face? I want one or two of my students typing in the comments quick and fast. There's a word that begins with H. Or there's a word that begins with S. When you look for mouthpiece face, what is he doing? Come on, two of my bright students typing in the comments quick and fast. Because mouthpiece are robot the labor right. Mouthpiece robot the labor right them. Mouthpiece robot all right. No, he's... He's smirking, not smirking, Kali. It's more of a smile, but he's smiling now, my viewers and subscribers. Yes, Haley, smiling. Yes, Ian, you as he's smiling. Yes, he's smiling now. But when me don't play the video, you're going to see him face get cross, angry, and miserable because he's going to cuss out the labor right them clout. My viewers and subscribers, Mouth peace and his radio station who often speaks in favor of the government, the governing Jamaica Labour Party. They have been given the PNP props. They've been bigging up the PNP. They've been they've been they've been celebrating the PNP. They've been lauding the PNP, especially the leader of the opposition, Mark Golden, that there was an attempt by the government to sabotage his speech. But Mouth Peace and his team has been letting Jamaica know that Mark Golden stood the test of time and he delivered. Mouthpiece and his people were saying that Mark Golden won the debate. Him win everything. Him win respect. And the labor rights, them don't like it. My viewers and subscribers, them a cuss out Mouthpiece. What's it not clout? And I say him, him a PNP now. There's a caller that calls on Mouthpiece radio station all the while. Him name must say Cleveland. I used to call mouthpiece some time ago and me and him square off over there one day. One day me and the said man where you hear on the program you square off. Because this a man ya, if he in blood green it, green it, green it, green it, green. And all when JLP I hurt him neighbor and him pitney and him daughter and him woman. Him nagi JLP no wrong. 
Me go make a listen to the man. Him name Cleveland. One big old labor, right? Big old man in him old age, you know. And, and in him, me say if him hear say JLP kill him neighbor or him pitney, him still a go get JLP, right? And one night I had to fix it. One day I had to fix him business for more piece radio station when I call for him program. But anyway, my viewers and subscribers, the class is going to get in, in, in intensive. Because the man, the wicked, dirty, liar, labor right man called for more peace program. And I got to tell more peace, a Mark Golden, a walk around and a bully woman. When you hear me telling this, that's so how the man walk and tell lie. About two years or three years ago, me hear him from the rape and more peace radio station calling and tell lie from the PNP. I mean, I have him and fix him, you know. He may come and say, Andrew, the best things in slice bread. I'm a rubbing out on the radio station, you know. And, and, and yesterday, him come from Mode Peace radio station. I come tell Mode Peace, say, Mark Golden, say, you're Mark Golden from the PNP. I walk a bully, I walk around a bully woman. Which woman Mark Golden, I walk around a bully? Which good woman Mark Golden, I walk around a bully student? I want to ask you a question, student. Which woman Mark Golden, I walk around a bully? Well, him call Mode Peace this morning. And him a tell mode peace, say Mark Golden want bully woman. And you got ear or mode peace fixing business. Students, get ready for big up mode peace. Get ready for big up mode peace. Cause mode peace fix them business. My brothers and subscribers, open up on the ears and turn up on the volume. Open up on the ears and turn up on the volume. May I go play the, the recording right now. May I go play the recording in three, two, one. Listen. And I want you to listen to the conversation. Listen how the man talk and tell me if the man is one big, dirty labor, right? Listen how the man, if you're a big old man, you know, listen how the man talk and tell me if the man is one big, dirty old labor, right? When, if they don't need to send this man over 80, make, make sweet and sour fixing business. Listen to the big old man. Oh, well on students, well on, my apologies, I'm sorry, I never re realized I never run the audio, sorry students, bear with me, I realize I never click the audio on the video, well on, I'm going to find it back students, it is 158.42, yeah, 158.42, let's put it there, let's go now student, listen to the old dirty man, listen to him, 618-8255. Yes, Cleveland, we're back with you. Sir, the problem mm. is, Mr. Yos, all of you people who run these programs and so on, look like you're not afraid of Mr. Golan, and him just going around and bullying people. Well, I don't. I can't speak way. for nobody else. I, I'm not afraid of Mr. Golding. Yes, yes? yes? and we are not afraid. Everybody. No, what, what your people are of the view, yes, is that we must... We must not be fair and responsible no, 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 in no, our no, reporting no, 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 and that. commentary. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I see it right mm -hmm. here. Students on the ear of the man wicked. Well, on students on the ear. Students on the ear of the man wicked and dirty. I tell more peace about the wall of them Fred and Mark Golin because Mark Golin going around bullying people. Which part of Mark Golin a bully people? My friends and subscribers, this a man I want big old man as a ear in vice a ear same in the 70s or 80s or 90s or 120s, you know. That's why I tell you, say, age does not mean wisdom. You have some people where old and them not have no wisdom. You don't, you don't hear the drama where the man at chat say? It look like a couple of the students, them know him. Well, on, Andrea Berg said Cleveland is a liar. It look like Andrea know him. It look like Andrea know him. Now they say him and Cleveland always a cuss. Well, me and him one day are fixing business over there, you see. Sabad Rose said Cleveland is a lizard. He's a dirty drunk, bro. One dirty drunk of my brothers and subscribers, me have to play it back. Me have to play it back from the beginning. The man I walk at Pan's ear. Pan ear, the man come and walk and spread propaganda about Mark Gold in a walk a bully woman. You see how the labor right them lie and wicked? Students, I want to hit the like button for me. Come on, students. Me I beg at least 20 or 30. I want to hit the like button. Bring the like button for 700 for me now. I want to hit the like button and bring the likes button to 700 now, students. Because in the morning, I want to blaze a little fire right now, you know. I want to blaze a little early fire and I want some people catch the fire when I blaze in the morning. So I want to hit the like button and bring the like button for 700 for me now. A 647 uh, uh, likes in a, in a, and a 1,100 odd people. Come on students, hit the like button. Let me read, let me, let me read some of the comments. Rowan Perry said, I'm a 140. Yes, Rowan, I'm a 149. 
Now this is my raw small piece orange shirt and mad them. Yes, a small piece. I never even see same in an orange shirt. Somebody said, Clifton, a dirty bungle. Evelyn Meekle said, what a man lie. Then I said, that old man there. And now, he might call over the place and make trouble. LTE, same sound like Pat Cover. I know Pat Cover, my brothers and subscribers. Students, more want to eat the like button. Work the like button for me, students. Everybody eat the like button. Eat the like button for me, students. Come on, man, you can do better than that. Eat the like button for me, students. Eat the like button. Eat the like button. Work up the like button and bring the like button to 700. Yes, Shining Star, tell him to eat the like button. Students, I want to play. I go play it back, you know. And I want to listen to the little dirty old liar, man. And I want to hear how mode piece fix the dirty man business. May I go play it in a three, two, one. Let's go. Listen to the dirty man again. Listen to the dirty man. 618-8255. Yes, Cleveland, we're back with you. Sir, the mm. problem is, Mr. Yul, all of you people who run these programs and so on, look like an old friend of Mr. Golem, and him just going around and bullying people. Well, I don't. I can't speak way. for nobody else. I, I'm not afraid of Mr. Yeah. Golding. Well, no, yes, and we're not afraid. Everybody. No, what, what your people are of the view, yes, is that we must... We must not be fair and responsible no, 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 in no, our no, reporting no, 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 and that. commentary. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I see it right mm -hmm. here. But hold on, hold on. Mr. I see it Mr. right Mr. here. You, for example, I see what these YouTubers are doing to my colleague Ricardo Brooks, who gave a commentary yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. Yes, was it yesterday morning or the morning before? Yes? And he gave what was his honest, frank, and fair assessment. My brother, just come Look at more peace fears. Look at more peace fears. And the fact that he was not carrying. You know, see that? You know, see them action, them I more peace. Me telling you, say more peace is that smile, but he might go get cross, angry, and miserable. Then the war more piece to talk the truth. Remember when more piece used to talk, I said Mark Golden already Mark now cut it. When Mark when more piece used to talk, I said Mark already Mark now cut it. Them never have a problem. When more piece used to say Mark Golden already him fall short, him not this. Them never have a problem. But because more piece, I said that Mark Golden are going go the dirty drunker them because I want like how more piece lace the man. I say listen, the line. Yeah, he was what? pilloried. Well, well, Hold on, Cleveland. Yeah, can you give me a chance to just yeah, vent, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? I've been wanting to speak to it because I can't speak to it. Them can't speak to it. Mm. Yeah? What you people do, and I'm talking about partisan people, mm -hmm. not just labor rights. Mm. The comrades do it. Yeah? Anytime a journalist, a commentator, takes a position that don't fit for who no partisan opinion who no go after them in a vicious and sometimes nasty vitriolic way I Cliff Hughes has been a victim of that for years yeah and when one no do that to younger journalists yeah, who are still trying to find their feet. It is nasty and yeah. dirty. Yeah, and I'm yeah. talking to some of the YouTubers yeah. on this platform. You won't get that from me. Yeah? Really? You can you can agree to disagree. Yeah. And journalists are here to call it based on facts mm -hmm. and logic. Mm -hmm. We're not here mm -hmm. to be yeah, to I carrying a, a old rope road line or a Belmont Road line. And we are going to take positions that from... You hear the dirty man, boy, you won't get that from me. You hear the dirty nasty man, boy, you won't get that from me. But at that time, though, he might walk and spread propaganda because, because Cliff Hughes, a big up Mark Golden, he's upset about it. He come and tell lies say Mark Golden a, 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 a walk on a bullet woman. And you hear him with him lie itself. A really JLP man, this, you know, if them lie, hear him, you won't be getting that from me. The setting, where am I doing, you know, he my ball out, say, you won't be getting that from me. Them people, it come like from yourself, labor right, one piece of lying spirit just take you over. 
It come like from your from your say labor right and vote for labor right. One piece of lying spirit just come over upon you. Time to time, yeah, we'll disagree with your position. Yes, but you must call out Mr. Golden when he say things and do because he's just going around bullying the ladies them and don't uh, give what a view about it. You right, and him just move on. But we 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 have because programs like the, these, the, Cleveland. Don't have a right in there. He has, she has her own right in that house too. She may be win her election fairly than when him win. Students, which lady Margolin are bully? My my students, which lady Margolin is bullying? I wanted to type in the comments and tell me. You saw the dirty man wicked our old man, you know. Me just say Karen Karen type in at the comments. Karen Karen said this man sound like he's eighty years old and wearing pampas. And has sound last memories. In have no sound last memories. Karen Karen is a wicked old dirty man. Cause him come over here tell lie about Mark Golden and Aras woman. Him know what the word Aras mean? Him know what the word Aras mean? Them people here, hey, me tell you say it's them people here. Lord Jesus. Mm -mm. Right? And him going around and just bullying everybody. And he must understand same is a misfit in this country, you know, sir. Misfit, as far as me concerned, and he mustn't go around and bullying, and especially the little bullying Miss Father Llewellyn. It's, it's unfair, and saying things and giving the nation wrong information. I'm not taking him on about it. Ah, you want us to do your job? No, no I don't want to do my job. We are not to here to job. do that. That's your job, and that is why we have programs like these. We're not doing that. We're not here to do that. It looks like sometimes when you come out and start talking, you see? Like when you turn on a pipe. And him just going, going and talking, not even thinking. Well, that's what you are to do. That's not our job. That's not our job. Tell him, Sam, is a misfit somebody in this country and he must still have some respect for the black woman them in this country where we're positioned. He must go around and try to bully them. Right? Mm -hmm. Like when you turn on. Stop it. Well, Cleveland. I feel as if come like some Mark Golden rap dirty Cleveland. <laughs> Murder. I feel as if Cabas know so when I have to eat the light button for this. I wonder. When I have to eat the light button. Students, when you hear this, I don't think man. When I have to dead with laugh. When you hear this, I'm on your half a dead with love. My brother subscribers, Cliff Hughes is telling them that we don't have to agree all the time. And the man vex, the man keep on doing us. Say, Mark Golden, I walk up bully people. Students, I have to go pull up back part of this. I know. I'm sorry, I have to pull up back part of this. This is a real excitement. I'm sorry, my brother and subscribers, I have to pull up back part of this. This is an excitement that too sweet. I can't allow this uh, excitement for continue like that. I have to play back part of this uh, excitement. Yeah. Lord Jesus, it come like so the man blood pressure out for run up. Mark G are mad them. Students want to listen back to the wicked dirty man. Listen back to the wicked dirty man. Mark Garden said, old mad boy, old boy mad. Jason Kane said, did we hear what we hear? Yes. You yeah, got to hear what you hear. Shining star said, hear there. Somebody said, Clifton, you want a lick with that dried one coat knot in your back. <laughs> That is a market G walling head I ignore its defamation. My brother subscribers, not gonna listen back to old Clifton. We have got to listen to old Clifton at the man and laugh off him because Clifton I want John. I want to have him that drink like Korea name cousin at the man in there. Make gonna listen to wicked dirty liar at Clifton again. Say things and do because I'm just going around bullying the ladies them and don't uh, give what have you about it. You right? And him just move on. But we we, we have because programs like the, these, Cleveland. Misfit, as far as me concerned, and he mustn't go around and bullying, and especially the little bullying Miss Father Llewellyn. It's, it's unfair, 
and saying things and giving the nation wrong information. I'm not taking him on about it. Ah, you want us to do your job? No, no I don't want to do my job. We're not to here to do job. that. That's your job. And that is why we have programs like these. We're not doing that. We're not here to do that. Tell him, tell him, it looks like sometimes when you come out and start talking, see? Like when you turn on a pipe. My brother subscribers, this is man I said that, 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 that Mark Golina give people wrong information. Who give people wrong information like big doors, dirty Devon? Students, who answer the question? Who give wrong information like big nose, dirty Devon where him support? And him support Devon, you know? When they said Devon, you know, for him tongue and for him head and everywhere jump quick and fast when they said Carl Andrew name, you know? Who give wrong information in this country like, like Andrew? The dirty man has said Mark Golden for give wrong info. I give people wrong info. Why the man has you not know, go and go take two panels and go and go lie down and sleep, man? Cho. Sure. And him just going, going and talking, not even thinking. Well, that's what, what you are to do. That's not our job. That's not our job. Tell him, say, he's a misfit somebody in this country and he must still have some respect for the black woman them in this country where we're position. He must go around and book trying to bully them. Right? Mm hmm Like when you turn... stop it. Well, Cleveland, that is why we have programs like these and you can do it. Yes, okay. that is not our job. Our job is to do the commentaries we do, do the analysis we do, but we're not to be politicians. Is no. His, his argument is like Mr. Oldness. No, some of you want, some of you, no, some of you, bring her to the house some of you, Cleveland, in a position. some of you, yes, and I'm talking to the youth, some of the YouTubers, not all YouTubers. There are some very rational, sensible, reasonable people on the YouTube. I'm talking the partisan ones. Yeah, yes? Yeah. Who have only one mission. You must say green is good or orange is no, good not, every I'm time. But at the same time, I'm not going to come on and try to say anything against my party in public like that. If I disagree with something, I'll say it within my home. Right? Because me and my son, then... I'm um, a daughter will disagree at points, you know, about the party. Yes. Right? But that is between us. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, Mr. Golden must, he must understand. Right? When people hearing him saying, I'm saying the DPP is covering up. Is that fair? Is that fair, Mr. Hughes? No. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. You should stop that. Well, that is what you all must you know. deal with. And I'll say it again. I miss, I miss fit in this place. I, major, when you stand up up there and look down upon the majority of people, of black people, them he must look to, look upon. Mm -hmm. And you must understand that. Anyway, mm -hmm. maybe somebody will get to say something. Else. All right, please, man. <laughs> Richie, good morning. Richie, Billboard. Top of the morning to you, Professor. Clifford. Good morning to you. You know, um, I slept on it last night, and I wonder, is Mr. Golden dishonest or is a downright liar? Mr. Golden knows better than what he's doing. But to catch the, the attention of the people in down here, he tells all sorts of lies. He's a very dishonest leader. Mm -hmm. I, My brother, Seth Kabaz, is that a man? This had a text said from Mr. Golden again, you know. You, you hear that? Is and you just have Cleveland a text said from Mr. Golden, so Mr. Golden, a bully woman. And you have one new one in your now billboard. I said that Mr. Ima one that Mr. Golden dishonest or what? My brother, sub <laughs> my brother subscribers, Lord Jesus, the labor right them send out them people for text it for Mark Golden. Students in the Woland, Woland the students, no sir. In the morning, you're so nice. I are so nice students, you know, wait. I'm sorry, this morning class are sweet like sugar cane. Students, me have to go pull up that one there. Me have to pull up that, my brother subscribers. But want to listen. You just have. Uh, you just have Cleveland a text set for Mark Golden. Now you have one in one name billboard. 
Listen to Billboard him have say students. Listen, listen to them dirty germs. Uh, listen to them. You know, um, I slept on it last night. And I wonder, is Mr. Golden dishonest or is a downright liar? Mr. Golden knows better than what he's doing. But to catch the, the, the attention of the people I'm down here, he tells all sorts of lies. He's a very dishonest leader. Mm -hmm. I would like to know. I hear him saying he was one of the chief advisors to Mr. Former Minister of Finance. I want to know what part he played in the Finstock city. Students. Wolande, 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 Wolande. To Mr. Bill Board, Wolande students, Wolande students, Wolande students. Wolande students, Wolande students. Uno Wolande my students, them. Uno Wolande, Wolande students. Uno Wolande my students. You see, to Mr. Cleveland and to Mr. Bill Board, I want to me have to set you. To Mr. Cleveland and to Mr. Billboard, I want to have to set you before I play on the music. You know, listen to this, Mr. Billboard and Cleveland. Listen to <laughs> Students, students, we have one thing to tell Cleveland and we have one thing to... We have one thing to tell Cleveland and we have one thing to tell Billboard. Put the colors in the in the comments and show them. Look, and Mark G a mad them. Mark G rub them white foul. Mark G a run up them blood pressure. You hear what I'm say? Him think it true last night. That means that him go feel bed a mad last night about Mark Golden. You hear what Billboard say when him start the, the program? Him say him went to bed and him had to think it over last night. Marky G, I drive them mad. Students, I beg you put some orange in the comments and just tell. Billboard, if you're listening, listen to what a topic of say. Cleveland, if you're listening, a topic of to tell you something. Look in the comments and look which color my students am telling you. Look, listen to this and look in the comments. Trumpet go kill you. The trumpet go bust your ears drum, dirty man. To you are your friend. The trumpet go bust on your ears. Look at my comments. Rick Flint, Shining Star, Ely, now the top class entertainment, Kiara. Everybody, me say, the trumpet go bust them ears drum. Me say, Ma Golin, I go give them sleepless nights. My visitor subscribers, BC, everybody, you, Robert and Marines, Luke, Claudia. Javi Johnson, Beauty Chess, Alan Coleman, Chosen Clouded. Mark Golden, I go give them blood pressure. Anybody in here have any blood pressure pill, can I send, go give them for me? Anybody in here have any blood pressure pill, can I send? Hello, Mark Go. Hello, students. It's never me say it, you know. Students, Andrea Burke. Me say, it's, nev it's not me say it, Andrea Burke. Let me play it back one more time. The man say I have sleepless night because of Mark Golden, Rick Flint. The man say I have sleepless night because I'm brought it up. And I wonder if Mark Golden is a liar. If Mark Golden is a liar. So, so you go to bed and think about man. If man and this honest Jason Kean. He calligraphy. No sir. Mark Golden rub them white folds. Students may have go play back phone. Oh, Lord Jesus. What a way this a class of sweet in the morning. What a way this a class of horse sweets like sugar cane disease. May I have to play it back one more time, students. Lord Jesus, Mark Golden, I'm mad the people. Eh? Mark Golden, why you do it, sir? Students, ask Mark Golden why I'm doing it. Mark Golden, why you do it? 
If I make a do it, I go all in here. Mad in the people, them. My video subscribers, and listen carefully. Make a go back to them. I'm you can start from the beginning. Listen again. That is what you all must you know. deal with. And I'll say it again, I miss, I miss fit in this place. When you stand up up there and look down upon the majority of people, the black people, them, him a look to, look upon. Mm -hmm. And he must understand that. Anyhow, mm -hmm. let somebody get to say something. All right, right Cleveland. Richie, good morning. Richie? Billboard. Top of the morning to you, Professor Clifford. Good morning to you. You know, um, I slept on it last night, and I wonder, is Mr. Golden dishonest or is a downright liar? Mr. Golden knows better than what he's doing, but to catch the, the, the attention of the people I'm down here, he tells all sort of lies. He's a very dishonest leader. Mm -hmm. I would like to know. I hear him saying he was one of the chief advisors to Mr. Former Minister of Finance. I want to know what part he played in the FinSAC situation, the meltdown of the financial sector. Time people start asking that question. Well, and the you, Mr. Dutty Billboard, may, may I just say, Mr. Billboard, is it because nobody now advertise for your billboard? Is it because your billboard them rotten? Is it because when you put up your billboard, nobody now look up in the ear for your billboard them? Are your billboard business now make the money make your text up for Mark Golden, sir? Is it because a Mark Golden make nobody now look up in the ear for your billboard them, sir? Is it because Billboard now sell again a YouTuber sell me care because Mark Golden? How did that dirty nasty man do my viewers and subscribers? It come like a Mark Golden rap them, them white fall. Listen to the dirty man. We would like to know what player part he played in the meltdown of the financial sector in the 90s. I heard your last caller yesterday. He could not have done it better than I could not have done it as good as him. He did it so eloquently. He said, Mr. Golden is hijacking the People's National Party. Mm -hmm. And without a doubt, it seems that way. Because you can tell me, Philip Paulwell has been a member of parliament for longer years than him. And Philip Powell endorses Mr. Olney and, and of all the best. And I hear Mr. Powell is backing off now as a matter of fact. He himself says, Mr. Golden, as if Powell didn't consult with him and he was not in the house. So Powell can make a, make, he cannot make a decision. As the leader of the opposition business, can't he speak? I hear Mr. Phillips in consultation with Mr. Vaz with the transport situation, and they were so it it, it seems like a breath of fresh air to hear them talking together, and it's actually agreeing the way forward for public transport. And in less than a time, Philip had to be changing his, his tone because Martha Mike, Martha Mark didn't agree with it. I am now looking that Mr. Golden has become the real master now and they are the old slave in the party. Oh. They are because nobody can 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 can, can talk without he authorizes. And I told you that idea there was a third party. And if you bear me. Bruce Golden leaves the Jamaica Labour Party to try it and form a third party. Mr. Golden is staying inside one and forming one. Mm -hmm. Rice PNP and one PNP is divided. You notice even the budget presentation <laughs> for what he call the budget. Mm -hmm. All his members wasn't there. 
all his members were there, and that, that's a day when everybody should be there. Uh, even, and I must be honest with you, even though I anti goalie I sat by my TV and I wanted to listen to every Dirty man, you old dirty rotten teeth man. <laughs> You old dirty rotten teeth man, when your ear now growing at the top of your head, ear there round the side of your head like one circle, but the top of your head peel out like when drunk or dry breaks. You dirty man where your wife left you and divorce you and nobody no want you. Why the rat it cup in a go and about your business and go tell the people them oh JLP divided? Why you not tell the people them say the man from Portland and the man from Clarendon? And the man from Manchester, all of the people them were resigned from Clarendon, no like, no like the dirty Devon. Why you tell them, say, Alisha, no like Devon from them time there? Why you tell them, say, Ratted Cup, what did that one name? What did that one name? Mike Henry, no in a Devon. Why you not talk so, oh, JLP divided and them soon challenge him? But no, when you not soon the business, but you not fast in a PNP business, you cost Mark, then you cost Peter Phillips, then you cost this, then you cost that. All your talk. What do you want to tell people? Say PNP divided, 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 whatever divided you want to say. A PNP go win the next backside election and the Mark Golden leadership. So we don't not try this credit PNP, Miss Sorry, it now work. Not a drunk crow. It now work. Listen to the wicked students. The word he was saying. I want us to watch his expression. I want to build some confidence within them. Then, then in claiming as a leader. So I want to look at him, presenting himself. And although as I listened, he was saying he scored some, he, he was making some shots. Sound impressive. He still has not come up with any answer to his three million dollars proposed. Allah. Even up to now, I wonder maybe that's why I'm going okay, to move from budget now to accusation. Because what he did in this it wasn't budget he was using now. He was accusing. He jumped from the budget shop to an accusing shop. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Yeah. And I am watching it, and the people in the National Party can watch it. Because as you are quite aware, a couple of them that has left has left because they said that's not the PNP they used to. Mm -hmm. That is not the PNP they are used to. And they didn't want to just jump the ship from the PNP. The, the, the policy was changing around them. And they are tough PNP. And they decided to leave it alone. One thing I'd like to ask Mr. Onis is to tell me how far the, um, the NIS poor pressure pension is going on. Bam. Whatever PNP they are used to, the JLP is not the same JLP that the people are used to. One thing same about them, them liar and thief. But back then, Bruce Golden never did so wicked and dirty like Devon. So JLP is different from Bruce Golden leadership than wicked, dirty, liar, nasty thief in Devon. So you are talking about the PNP. Of course, the PNP is different. The PNP, uh, the PNP are talking about accountability now. If you step up and miss up, they put it to the side, my brother. That is what the PNP are talking about. The PNP is about accountability now and that new leadership. And it seems like the, that the direction that they knew the leadership is that is taking the party a mad out. A mad a mad out. I want to tell you, tell you, up at Bellevue, when they carry mad people go up there, them give you one pack of last score and $500. Me will be the first to carry you. I see the $500 where you give me and the, the last score where they go give me, they go carry it on the tongue and give one of the mad people them. Because that dirty drunk like you, nobody even to spend your money except the mad people. Em. So when the judgment are taken, they no other judgment not there. I'm mad, yeah, mad, oh, dirty drunk, or mad, go, and I go mad, yo. Mad, yo, mad, yo, mad, yo, mad, yo, mad, yo. Body with these cars. Mr. Lucky and Carl said to No, man, I don't kiss eyeball. You have to do that. Really? Me you? He is your eyeball. Oh? In other words, I talk all about you. That Let me nobody tell you. matters. I have a daughter. <laughs> that's when I talk, she gets vexed. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's all right. I know it. I'm holding on her. Mm -hmm. Boss man. All right, the so. Out, the old slaves in the PNP need to wake up mm -hmm. and do allow the party to go down. All right, sir. So. That's all I can say. Cool.
take care. You need, you need I, I have to go. I have to go. Time for the break. Take care. I've been hearing about this constitutional reform thing. You know anything about it? Yes, constitutional reform is a chance for us to Jamaicanize the constitution. But how? Enough things changed since 1962, and we have matured as a nation. So modernizing the constitution will... Yes, my viewers and subscribers, more peace, I forget rid of that dirty junk there. More peace, I forget rid of that dirty junk there. More peace, no self fat in the attack on him program, you know. You think more peace, no self fat them attack on him program. More peace though when people are talking on the program and make sense from when some dirty junk come. My viewers and subscribers on the hero the man wicked. On the hero the man wicked, my viewers and subscribers. On the hero the dirty man wicked. Lord, my viewers and subscribers. And this is all them do over this up and more peace, you know. You see, when you look at more peace face, most people say, Lord Jesus, them crosses I can't stop calling me. That is what more peace are saying. Because him no says rubbish them talking. He know it's rubbish them talking, my viewers and subscribers. Carol Gordon said, boy, some black people racist bad. And the racist, them racist, you know, are stupid, them stupid, and they're trying to run with a propaganda campaign. That's what they're doing, my viewers and subscribers. That's what they're doing. Well, and me say we can find one piece more and more piece, my viewers and subscribers. Let me see if nobody else I go call and cuss out. Come love when them call and cuss out, you know, me just laugh off at the crosses, them. Me could see me can't find nothing else, my brother, subscribers, and the whole on. Well, I'm going to look for Mr. Mold Peace and see if nobody else call us. So, well, on, students. The demographic of the PNP and the JLP in Jamaica is two different things. Mr. Holy, I'm not seeing a comeback, you know? One labor right until that, I'm not seeing a comeback. How oh, you say walk out of the people in Parliament where your salary raised by 200% and a couple of times for the year on the meet? For personal matters. Heavy is the head that wear the crown. You can't make Mr. Mullin Mr. 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 pull out trickery. Are you buying tweet and, and, and walk out of Parliament? They must be other having used to deal with that. Murder! Thing. Students, where the mode piece get at? It all, one labor right now, a cost mode piece. A cost Devon. One labor right, a cost mode piece. I say, it will see my comeback because, oh, Devon forget big rears. I run out of parliament. Lord Jesus, students, the class, I get at like pressure cooker. No, some more here when this someone call from the beginning, my brothers and subscribers. I'm sorry. I'm here when this someone call from the beginning. Be away to the teacher. They want you when this someone call from the beginning. They want you when this someone officer students. Me know no want you to. When you hear the man that talk about the van say, well, on students. Be with me, the students. Me want you when this someone officer. Me not lie. Want you when this someone officer students. When you be with teachers, one second. If you hear the advertisement, no watch the face. Because I can't hear when it starts because I do several things. So they just work with me and just make it play, students. When it starts, it starts. I want you when you sell money officer from the beginning. So if we hear mode piece advertisement, no watch nothing. Marie. Hello, Marie. Marie, this is not Marie. Who is this? This is CJ. CJ. Good morning. I never want to play it when the song I play, no man. Good morning, Mr. Hughes. How are you? I'm fine. Marie. Hello? Yes, I'm hearing. I'm hearing you. Go ahead, CJ. Go I'm ahead. hearing you. Mr. Hughes, Mr. Hughes I, I must take my hat off to Mr. Golden. Mr. Golden is the new magician. And the Prime Minister buying to it. Mr. Wall, Mr. 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 Golden pull off one of the biggest trickery since Houdini in front of everybody. And hard publicity is good publicity. Mr. Golden is supposed to tell us how he's, he would move the threshold that he object to, to three million. Nigel Clark, the Dan, pull off. A big time miracle to the Jamaica Labour Party by saying he's going to release the FinSAC report so that everybody, including university graduates, can study it. 
place of golden going at the hat and come out with a distraction. How speaker had the house? How long now do they tell us the speaker the house? How that become a part of the budget speech 2023? And Mr. Holden is buying to it and walk out of parliament. Mr. Holden is me tell us you lose political capital and you lose it again. The demographic of the PNP and the JLP in Jamaica is two different things. Mr. Holden, me no see you come back, you know? One labor right I tell you that, me no see you come back. How do you say walk out of the people in parliament when your salary raised by 200% and a couple of times a year on the meet? It's personal matters. Heavy is the head that wear the crown. You can't make Mr. Mullin pull out trickery. Are you buying tweet and, and, and work with the parliament? They must be having used to deal with that. My brother, subscribers, you hear that? The Labour right, I tell, I tell Devon, say, him not see oh Devon not come back, you know, at the Labour right. They might talk, you know, my brother, subscribers, the Labour right, them know, say, Devon is a problem, you know. The labor right them no sin in a problem in my viewers and subscribers are wanting me to tell the labor right them and I wanting me to tell a man we are big up Mark Golin. I wanting me to tell the labor right them and I wanting me to tell a man. Listen what me have to tell them, sir. Step up, step up, come out to vote. Make sure you're on the winning boat. Step up, step up, vote PMP. Progress to Jamaica, progress to we. See them, tell them the time come now. Tell them the time come now, unless them can be sure. Here and now. Uh, yes, you can, can be sure that, that for the next five years, PNP will give you more. Hello, thank you, sir. Madia go mad out. I'm mad, do not go mad out. Let me get back into the meat of the matter. I'm mad, they go mad out. Student, you have to give them two physic. We have to give them two physic and two blood pressure tablet. Murder. Mm. Mr. Gould, you know, when Mr. Gould is in the country, nobody will know. And you let Holiness should be speaker of the house? No, long ago, they sitting in front of Mr. Holiness. Philip Paul will endorse Mr. Holiness when, 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 when she was received from Deputy Speaker. Why did they never have a problem when she was Deputy Speaker? The Deputy Speaker no 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 no, 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 no represent the, the Speaker of the house when they are missing. Yes. yes. Then, so why did they never have a problem from that time? Mr. Holiness, Mr. 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 Yes. yes. We, we, we are made that too much that the minor. Mm hmm. You realize, Mr. 2024, Jamaica go back to a state of cockiespocracy? Mm hmm. And everybody gets up and talk about who right and who wrong out. Mr. Wallace, are you, me put, are you, me vote for are you, are you in charge of the parliament? You ever hear the government to walk out of parliament? Mm -hmm. Mr. You, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a little thing from TikTok. But I've heard it before, I saw it on TikTok, with Churchill, Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill was having, having parliament, you know. And there was this lady from the opposition, get up and say, Mr. Churchill, you're drunk. <laughs> Winston Churchill turned around and said, you are ugly. When I go home and bed and sleep. I don't, you don't tell you that don't say unethical. You're, you're glad you tell us, Mr. Only say you may vote for, Mr. Only say you may vote for. You, you have a right for cuss him, sir. I know a shame, a shame like dog while you are cuss him. I know a shame, I know a shame, a shame a kill you. I know a shame a kill you, a shame like dog. And you have a right for shame like that because you vote for him. Remember you just said, Mr. Wallace, I vote for you, you know. Remember say you said, Mr. Wallace, I vote for you, you know. You ever hear a party leader or run out of parliament? Yes, because your party leader one dirty, nasty, wicked, dirty devil and him is a dictator. He break every rule and that you vote for. I'm glad they come on national TV a ball. Talk about your dirty leader where she may leave Mark Golden alone. Talk about your dirty leader where she may leave Mark Golden alone. Mark Golden, she may your dirty leader, she may. 
So when we wake up in the morning and look in the mirror, mm-hmm. I'll be sober. <laughs> you do the same, you'll still you'll still be hugging. Yes. And proceed with Parliament. Mm-hmm. Mr. Wallace. The mm-hmm. Mr. Golden Wall. Mm-hmm. Mr. Golden I learn. You might learn. What do you mean you might learn? Mm. At two damage, you know, Mr. Golden and 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 you had advice with him go away one side. And we'll look at two things. Two things. Three, three million visuals and the same sack report. Mm-hmm. How can I create a destruction of this? Go hmm. minor. And the Prime Minister laid out the house. Mr. Mr. Prime Minister, where do you the first time I talk about this judgment? And at the lead, at the government business, we're supposed to do that. So you're supposed to signal them to do that. You're not supposed to do it. You're Prime Minister. Hey, everybody. PMP, Labour. My brother, you. subscribers, I want to have a sing, say, anything you chew up on me, it has a bong spy you. Anything you chew up on me, it has a bong spy you. Anything you chew up on me, it has a bong spy you. It has a bong spy you, bong spy you. They van, they van try a plan a walk out pa Mark Golden And it bongs pa him Him plan to walk out pa Mark Golden And it bongs pa him They van plan to walk out pa Mark Golden And it bongs pa him The people they move out for him Dem a cause him Yes, my viewers and subscribers Dirty, nasty, they van The people them Me say my viewers and subscribers A devan Know that Mark Golden was going to ask the pertinent questions and he had planned to create a fracas. And it bounced upon him because his wife was in this, the parliament earlier on, you know. And for some reason, it seemed as if they knew that Mark Golden was going to bring her under the microscope. And then make sure to take away herself and bring another deputy speaker. And then Andrew said, listen to me, we have to try to get out of this. And then create a fracas and run out of the parliament. My brother, subscribers, you hear what the JLP supporter just said? The JLP supporter said, Mark Golden win. And you see from Mark Golden win... Hold on, I see from Mark Golden win. I want thing me have to tell you, no, my brother subscribers. From Mark Golden win, I want thing me have to tell you. Listen to this. Step up, step up, come out to vote. Make sure you're on the winning boat. Step up, step up, vote PMP. Progress to Jamaica, progress to we. Wall that in your face, wall that in your face, wall that in your face, Mr. Man, when Mark Golin take over the parliament for the next five years, and my dear go mad out, my dear go mad out, make a listen to your ball, make a listen to your ball, but your leader will fail you. I'm glad you come from public era, ball, but your leader, him feel the wall away, and we've been telling you a long time, we've been telling the labor rights that Devon is a failure, and it is very proud. To see somebody who voted for him a diet labor writer tell him say Devon use a failure. Oh, you for walk out of parliament and your salary just raised. I'm glad that one labor writer tell you Dr. John Crow. Mm-hmm. Mr. Mr. Hughes, we need to get back civics in a in a in a, in a high school. Mm-hmm. Would we, we have it back, you know? It's been it back in Yes, it's been back in the curriculum for several years now. It's oh, not so in it, every it's school, just, it, but it's been back in most schools. And Mr. Hughes, with, the, with, with your young reporter, them, I mean, we tell them. Tell them now what's all of the WhatsApp thing. Because so, I'm thinking, Mr. Hughes, do all side in the YouTube chat this morning. Me, me come out of it. They're disgusting. 
Yeah, because disgusting. Then and they seek to terrorize not only me, but they seek to terrorize the, the youngsters. They can't terrorize or bully me. Yes? Yeah, them, I see them, them. I see the, the vitriol. Yes? And some of you you can leave if you want to leave. Yeah? Come not supporting the terrorism. Yeah? That's when you try no, to no, heap no, on some of us. Mr. Yuzan, when my camera run out, but look at you know, Mr. Mr. Holness, you need to go back to the election of 1989, the 9th of February, a Thursday. Mr. Holness, I was living in, in that constituency at that time, represented by Captain Francis and that former Minister of, Minister of Justice with the PMT. I can't remember my name. Mr. Submarine, man. Mr. 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 Yuzan. What's that? Help me, Mr. Yu. Tell me where you were living. Bay Farm Road. Nicholson. And he was the MP AJ. down there. AJ Nicholson. You know, AJ Nicholson. AJ, AJ Nicholson. Nicholson. Yes. Kick out um, Captain Francis in that election. Mm -hmm. It was after 30 years. 30 years. No, because that's it. And Gilbert came September. How much of Jamaica? Kedul Siaga. Build back Jamaica in three months where everybody says it's supposed to take 10 years and feel mm -hmm. comfortable. Mr. Siaga said, nah, campaign. Mm -hmm. Because the work we do was good enough to campaign. Mm -hmm. Michael Mann was on the beach relaxing and think about retirement. Mr. Patterson go and kick him and wait him and say, hoy, you're not going to campaign on the election, Joe. Mr. Manley get up and come back to the Jamaican people with no plan. The biggest plan Mr. Manley had was to Jamaican people. I have done some wrongs in the seventies. Please give me a chance to correct it. Go back and check the archives. Check the result of the election. Mm. And wipe out the GLP. So if Mr. Woolley still say, when 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 Nigel and Flavor and Tourism Minister do and security is good enough? Mm -hmm. He make a sad mistake. You lose whole heap of capital, Mr. Wallace. Whole heap. And you lose more in a parliament when you walk out. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. All right, sir. Good. Time for the break. However, no. Marie, good morning. Hello? Marie? Not hearing Marie. Ian? Hello? Yes, my viewers and subscribers, there you have it. There you have it, my viewers and subscribers. There you have it, my viewers and subscribers. Well on, students. Well on, well on. There you have it, students. The JLP at Tel. Devon said in a 1989 election, according to him, and I and I wonder if my historians are listening, if my historians can confirm what this man is saying. This man was claiming that in 1989, Jamaica had Gilbert at 88, and he's saying that Edward Siago took three months and build back Jamaica when people say it would take years. Is there any truth to that argument? Him say Edward Siago took three years and build back Jamaica. And him say Edward Siago say him not campaigning because the work that he has done is good enough. And him say, say Michael Manley talk to PJ. I said to PJ, he say, you know, he say election has come. And him say, only thing Michael Manley come out, come said to the people, was that people I had done some wrong in the 70s, I am I'm fixing, but give me a chance. And him said that they, they wiped them out in the election. My viewers and subscribers, is there anybody who know the judgment about that? What a bang around. But one thing I want to make clear to you and you and you and you and you is this. Anything you bong spam me, it hang back pan you. Anything you bong spam me, it bong back pan you. Anything you bong spam me, it bong back pan you. It bong back pan you, back pan you. Yes, yes. Devon plan and walked out of the parliament, thinking he would embarrass 
Mark Golden, because Mark Golden said nothing that was wrong about his wife. He said nothing disrespectful. He said nothing disres distasteful. But Devon, create an excitement out of it. Walk out of politics, uh, parliament and say, yes, he may uh, embarrass Mark Golden. Mark Golden was not able to finish his speech. But in using his wisdom, Mark Golden finished his speech outside. It garnered attention. Mark Golden also gave a press conference afterwards. At this point in time, everybody in Jamaica has been talking about how disgraceful it was to see the Prime Minister walk out on a budget debate. To make matters worse, my viewers and subscribers, people are saying this is the first time in history a Prime Minister has walked out and a leader of opposition speech in a debate. You hear me? The first time a prime minister, the very first time a prime minister, they van break the constitution, him finger the constitution, he met the MP them sign and dated resignation letter. He want put in General Rocky Mead and him go a court. Everything they van want break and him go a court. Everything the man want break and the man go a court. And the man break another rule, which is to make it the first, first time in the history of Jamaican Parliament that a Prime Minister walks out on the opposition in the financial budget debate. He may embarrass himself that that is right as the head of the island. And it is turning against him. And you just heard the evidence that it is turning against him. Because one of his very own labor rights. And you hear the man say, And you always me vote for you. And it is an embarrassment. You lose political mileage. You lose political gains. Oh, you have to walk out of parliament. When your salary just raised. Jason King said the raising pay was so Devon can put disrepute in Jamaican politics. Well, at least fem own people in my pint it out. But glad that fem own people in my pint it out, you know, Jason. Yes, nobody's fools class are key. I'm glad that fem own people in my pint it out. And no PNP a pint out him wrong, a fem own people in my pint it out. My viewers are subscribers. I saw it go sometime. What the enemy meant for evil, God meant for good. You hear that? What the enemy meant for evil, God meant for good. Because I am sure that the Prime Minister knew exactly what he was doing when he walked out. There was no need for him to walk out, my viewers and subscribers. And it reached to the stage where Glena Big Up, uh, Glena Big Up, Mark Golden, Dean Jackson Big Up, Mark Golden, TVJ, them a Big Up, Mark Golden, Mode Peace a big up Mark Golden. Everybody a big up Mark Golden. Even Devon one supporter. He was not bigging up Mark Golden. But he was cussing his leader. Saying his leader embarrassing. So in all in all. When you add up all of that together. If all these media houses who are normally biased. And speak so well of the Prime Minister. And help to spread all mispropaganda and all kind of thing. If this time they're coming out and praising Mark Golden in a situation where it was the Prime Minister who walked out, I heard the last gentleman, the one who said him vote for Devon Wilkos, he said that Mark Golden, that Andrew was stupid to allow Mark Golden to set a plot for him or a trap and him fall into it. Mark Golden never set no trap for nobody. Mark Golden absolutely said no chop for nobody at him set a rat chop for himself. Nobody never tell him for walk out. Him could have sit down and said rubbish your talk and make Mark Golden talk for one five seconds and move on to the next topic. But at him create the excitement. I see Rosemary Robbins as a teacher, when we pray, God delivers. And you know, it just, it just, that, 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 that statement by Rosemary uh, Robinson, same, same teacher when we pray God delivers. It just brings back to the memory 
that God really is working in the my viewers and subscribers because remember that powerful prayer service that you put on over here that night, you know. Remember that all in all, things were not looking in favor of the PNP election night. Devon claim him come out same win. Then we hear them lose this a seat. Then all the rioters tore up in the JLP camp. Then Warmington get fired. Then Warmington across this one here. Then Warmington across Vaz. Then them walk out. You know, the water. Listen to me sing one song for you. The water is troubled, my friend. Step right in. JLP turn over upon them one another them. And you wreck the ship. Can them cannot carry it to the land. The water is troubled. JLP step right in. Yes, my brother subscribers, the water troubled. The water troubled with the JLP them. The water troubled my viewers and subscribers. So I want to say to the people them continue to pray. Continue to pray because prayer work in some mysterious ways, you know. Continue to work in, a, in a some mysterious ways, you know. Nobody's supposed to teach her awake. I just wake and go up on YouTube and say, class still a go on. Yes, class still a go on. My viewers and subscribers, you know, so, so we work class over here, so. We know so we work class hours over here, so. When, when class at work. Somebody said, our topic, who was that prayer lady? That is strange. I was even looking for the video. I don't know where the prayer lady come from. Everybody attacks to the prayer lady. I almost beg the lady for call me back. I never hear back from the lady again. People were saying that there's a possibility that it's an angel visited us that night. And me would agree. Because when the woman pray, Lord Jesus, I said, I don't know something. Just, just, me just feel sitting and move through me. Man, the woman shaped me up. And several people said the same thing. I would never hear back from that lady. But anyway, my brothers and subscribers, I ask you just to continue to pray. In. Continue to pray, in, my brothers and subscribers, and to watch what go on. Because guess what? Jamaica ever keep, my brothers and subscribers, Jamaica ever keep some something always ago happen. So we always will have stories to talk about. We never start a shorter stories in Jamaica, you know. Because Jamaica is a time, is, is, is a 24-7 Hollywood where every minute there's a new movie and where they're, they're, they're existing superstars and new superstars and all kind of superstars. Anyway, my brothers and subscribers, talk to me now. Did you enjoy the class tonight? Students, it's so late with it over here. I keep class. I'm going to ask the students if you can remember to bless up the little Zell and the little cash up. It's so late for over here. Have class, my brothers and subscribers. Always a morning, always a morning. Always a man in the over here of class. So if you can bless up the Zell, my viewers and subscribers, remember to send a $10 or a $20 into the Zell. I would greatly appreciate it. The Zell is 347-234-9320. 347-234-9320. The name on the Zell is Kayan. And the cash up is dollar sign Jamaica at topic. Anything I send, I would greatly appreciate it. Talk the truth not a topic. Talk the truth not students. A topic not deserve $110 or $120. Talk the truth not a topic. Talk the truth now, students. I tap it, deserve one ten or one twenty dollar. Talk the truth now. It's so late we have class. Look how much hours we over here for. Four hours we over here for, you know. And earlier around, you get one nice three hours. If you can bless up the, the, the super chat, the, the, the cash up and the zell. Bless up the cash up and the zell, my viewers and subscribers, if you can. Make a read some comments. I just closed the poll and I'm going to be reading the, the, the poll results. I asked a question. Do you think that Edward Siaga was buried? Me just right, realize I'm right, Siagas. I asked a question in the poll. Do you think that Edward Siaga's body was buried in Jamaica? 77% of the respondents says no, while 22% of the respondents says yes. So, my viewers and subscribers, in case you weren't here, our brother, Junior, raised a point saying that he don't think that Siaga was buried in the castic by National Hero Circle. He was saying that Siago was sick and died abroad. He is assuming that Siago was buried abroad, but the castic came to Jamaica as if he was inside, but he was not in the castic. So our brother uh, Junior is saying that Siago, when he was buried, he was not inside the castic. And we asked the question, do you think that Tiago body was buried in Jamaica? Because remember, Tiago was born in the U.S. So some people are saying that he was buried in the U.S. Tiago fell ill 
in the U.S. He died in the U.S. People are saying that his, he had a private family burial in the U.S., but his body was sent to Jamaica, so that, that a coffin was sent to Jamaica, which was never opened, so people couldn't affirm if it was him or not. So 77% of you said, said no, they don't think it was Siago body that was buried. While 22% says yes, a 77% means that most people don't think it's fame, something. Nobody's fooled, it's a reality show. Jack Wan say, bra oldness making history. Walking out of parliament, bra oldness is a big disgrace. Big, 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 big disgrace. Calligraph say, any class tomorrow, teacher? No, I don't think I have any class tomorrow, no students. I doubt I have any class tomorrow. Since I had to pick what you're doing up at this time. A class may I teach at this time uh, system. Class may up a teach at this class at this time. We just uh, ask the people if them think see I go by the berry in Jamaica. Because one student come on the program, brother Junior, come talk up the things them. Say him not think say see I go by the berry in Jamaica. Because the casting never open. And him say, remember say see I go no ban a Jamaica foreign see I go ban. And him say, see I go bury a foreign and see I go sick and did fly out gun a foreign and him bury and him dead a foreign. Junior say him thinks say see I go bury a foreign and the cassie just come out here with empty body in there and then bury the empty body up our up our hero circle while see I go bury in the US with one private family with him funeral. So I don't know. I don't know if it's an empty casting bury side of the Obia man capo. Up a hero circle. Lord Jesus, what a judgment. Good morning, Ian. You was Peggy Cena, Carla, Bang, Shining Star. Everybody, they're going to equally none for Bramwell Oldness. What are we here call the man Bramwell Oldness? Now they say, at a topic, same way me here. Them said the casket was empty. I honestly don't know. He was a sinner. Lord Jesus, somebody called the people them the name over here, some ass, I do do nobody call in the people name over here, so yeah, and he was said, please, all who can bless up, teacher, do it. Love and thanks. Yes, big up yourself, Ian. Karen, Karen, say, like LFS, burn am. I don't know who name so sister. But anyway, my students, the Lord bless and keep on you know, you know, enjoy class tonight. I'm not for ask you. Know. So I'm going to get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow if possible. If me I keep class, you know, we get the notification. But till I meet you or see you, the Lord bless and keep you know. When I don't know a topic love, everyone I want to know, every single one I want to know over here, I love and respect you all. To all those on the night shift, the security guards, those working in the hospital, the truck drivers, everybody who is at work right now, blessings to you. Big up yourself. Thank the Lord you have a job because it is important to have a job in these days to pay the bill. To all those at home, blessings to you. To all those going to work soon, to all those in England getting ready to go to work, to all those in England at work, blessings to you. Wherever you are, blessings again. Big up. It is my pleasure. Thank having you over here for listening to me for four hours. I am your host, Mr. Murder. Thank you so much for joining us on Jamaica Topic. The Lord bless and keep you. Remember, tell a friend to tell a friend about Jamaica Topic and help us to get to 30,000 subscribers. You hear? Big up on yourself, student.